Ben, 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 ben. Tom, Tom, Tom. Ben, 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 ben. Tom, 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 Tom. Ben, 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 ben. Tom, Tom, Tom. Ben, ben, ben. Tom, Tom, Tom. Ben, 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 ben. Tom, 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 Tom. Welcome, everybody. It's well, better, Tom. Um, that sounds wrong. It's, ben, it's Tom and Ben. God, can you imagine a bizarre alternate reality where it's Ben gross. and Tom? Ugh. God, Ugh. Uh, th- Thursdays with Ben and Tom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa. Not even once. Just don't uh, do it. Hey, that. Mm. Uh, what is this kind of no, we got, like, massage? Panpipe music. Uh, you know, sort of sauna music. Hmm. I don't know. I see. Wait, it's getting a bit more. It's getting a bit Lord a of the Rings more now. like fantasy. Hmm. No, I'm. I'm, I'm okay. into it. <laughs> it's better than just like. Oh, 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 yeah, that, those the regular before. regular ones. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh. No, I'm. I'm down. Very nice. What's new in Tom Town? Um. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh wow. Um, what's new in Bentown? Um, I've I've had a very Warhammer filled week. Oh yeah. I did loads of Warhammer because my family went away, and I was like, I'm gonna nerd out. I'm gonna spend a weekend playing Warhammer. Hooray! Hooray! Very cool. Very nice. Yeah. Um, we can main screen activate. I took some pictures, but not really enough. Main screen, turn on. Nice. We're on PC3, Def. <laughs> um, so my friend Chris has finished painting his sisters a battle army, which are looking real nice. So we decided we're going to play a crusade. Uh, uh, the sword has been? No. no he, he's actually painted sisters of battle. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Just like I've painted Imperial Guard. Exactly. Um, and so we've decided we're going to play a crusade. So we did a 500 point game and then a thousand point game. Ooh. And then the next time we're going to like go up to like 1250 and 1500. Um, cool. As a, like if, just to have a nice excuse to like, oh, I'm going to paint another two squads this Yeah, way. like the slow escalation. Like adding in like 250 points a time is really cool. Um, and then also there's a whole bunch of rules from the we've borrowed from the previous edition codexes that let you tie your missions together so your guys get experience and injuries. You have things you can do in mission that won't affect whether you win or lose that game, but they'll give you certain resources or points for the campaign. Right. Okay. So you could lose the mission, but then be like, well, I got one step closer to my, my goal in the campaign. Yeah, I, that's just such a more fun way to play. Mm. Uh, yeah. you, can, you can lose the battle, but win the war. Exactly. Uh, and it was really fun. And then it's, it's all about like narrative and having like this unit's had this like tally of victories, and that's mm. really cool. So, uh, yeah, a little 500-point game. I had some tunnel boys as well, but um, I wanted to topple his false temple. So my mission was to go in and, like, stick two extra arms on the statue of the emperor nice. in this church, uh, which I did. But then we played a second mission where he wanted to shut down all my tunnels and, like, board up all the sewer grates that I've been crawling out of. Oh, God. Um, and he won that. But I managed to get some bonus points for, like, knocking all the eagles off the statues and like, putting up posters to okay, say. I love that, just going around, just doing graffiti. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's the, a cool marketing campaign. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. there we go. So we've got, um, I've got, I, I, I've got to paint the moon buggy now. You can't take the unit without it anymore in the new rules, which is a shame because I don't love that model. I like his, um, his glossy moon helmet. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was fun. Yeah, like, I don't hate the moon buggy. I'm kind of, kind of into him. It's sort of fun. Uh, I didn't, unfortunately, that's out of focus, but he did a really nice job on his, um, and his penitent engine, and just all his sisters in general. It's a beautiful army, and it's really fun to play games with fully painted models. And look at those bases, don't they look great? Oh, they're really nicely done. Super, super duper pretty. Um, compared to my fucking scabby boys. Oh, they still look great. They're okay. It's a bunch of shops in the truck. <laughs> yeah, I feel like for some reason, for something like Genius Killer Cults, it's okay to paint them a bit scruffy. Oh, yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, they're not supposed to be squeaky clean at all. Exactly, compared to the sisters who look pretty good when you make them all like... Yeah, nice yeah, like... I imagine they spend a lot of time polishing mm. that armour. Um, so yeah, I didn't take any photos like of the second game, but it was really fun. We had a good time. Mm. And, um, I've got one unit of like hybrids who've got loads of XP because they did all the missions. Um, 
but they did get wiped out after like sticking arms on the emperor's statue. Oh no! And they they got a permanent injury. They now have like um, poor morale. They've been like oh, they got like PTSD from getting shot. So oh god! Now all they want to do is just hang back and do like subquests <laughs> and not run in and get murdered. <laughs> yeah, Oof. that's their that's their job now. Uh, and we had uh, like a unit of, um, you know, the sister of Repentia with the big chainsaws? Yeah. They were trying to get into the temple to stop it getting vandalized. Um, and a separate unit of uh, Junior Stella cultists like gummed them up because there's only three of them left. They could, they could only kill in like five or six a turn. But then every turn, four or five new cultists like rejoined the units love, crawling out of the tunnels. Love that. We did like five rounds of combat. Um, they basically spent half the game just locked in this endless tide with like tunnel boys pouring out of the sewers. <laughs> yeah. It was cool imagery, while, but the tunnel boys tied them up for long enough and their temple was defiled and no matter how hard they fought, they couldn't do it. And then they rolled an injury at the end and they got um, uh, shamed. Oh, they had like a mark of shame on oh, them. Oh, God, like you're already in the Sister Repentia. You don't want to be the shamed <laughs> Sister Repentia as well. <laughs> So he's gonna try and like redeem them. He's got like a subquest for that unit to like earn their redemption through like glorious deeds. Wow! So they have to become unshamed. Yeah. And you're still in the Sister of Pentia. <laughs> but if he does it, if he can go through the three steps to glory, they can like become a unit of regular Sisters of Battle. <laughs> wow. Okay, it's kind of fun, kind yeah. of rad. It's fun. Yeah, that was good. And then you and I played a game. We did. We did. Here we go. This is Tom's brand new army that he's just painted. I painted some new crons. Oh man, nuclear crons. Uh, Necronians. Dice master. The dice lord. Uh, they look really cool, man. I I love the scheme. Yeah, like they need a little bit of like loving uh, on the green, like on the characters mainly. Mm. Um, yeah, you want them to sort of pop, don't you? Just uh, go do a bit of a bit of a uh, bit of stuff on that. They're uh, so dinged up. I love it. They've like they've been scraping all over the hallways and stuff on their way to battle. Yeah, like kind of like you know, dirty dirty Necrons. Um, not enough scarabs. Yeah, there's some scarabs, but not many scarabs. Mm. Uh, Must try harder. Scarabs don't do a lot. <laughs> no. Uh, Especially not in our game. <laughs> no, for sure. Uh, there. Um, I love the old Necron. Yeah, so I had just I had that guy in my bits box, um, which maybe I'm not entirely sure if it literally is the one. Um, I think that it's I the one you got free white with dwarf white dwarf a million years ago. Yeah, should we look up which issue that was? Oh, it's a long. That's a long way back. Necron White uh, Dwarf. Uh, this one, wasn't it? That is the one. We got a random random Necron. Because there was like four different sculpts or something, right? Yeah, yeah. There's only a couple. Um, I forgot they all used to have like the Pharaoh bit on them. Uh, 217. Wow. January, 217. Terrifying new race for 40k. <laughs> Loved it. Uh, I remember there was a great picture in there of uh, Necrons versus um, Praetorians. Yeah, in the desert. Yeah, yeah. And there's only like 20 models maybe, but they had, um, I think there was like the injured Praetorian. Yeah. Models. Um, just stood between them and a couple of just random scarabs dotted around. But like as a kid, was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Because they'd scratch built like a little research table where they'd taken a scarab apart or something. Oh, something like that, yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, like really, really like those, um, those super old crons. But I'm never going to find out, am I? It was in like a really, really like bold I, desert. I can I can picture it in my brain. Uh, I cannot pour that onto the computer screen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, what if you just have Necron fighting Praetorian? Just get rid of more words. And see I was worried that there's a Praetorian Necron unit. Uh, 
January '98 was. I also that was twenty five years ago. Uh, oh, I guess there are classic old Necron diorama. That's it. Nah, we're never going to find it. It's mm. too obscure. It's not very famous. Well, if someone's got that white dwarf, take a photo. Oh, if you try searching, yeah, what issue was it? 215. What was it? 217. 217. Uh, oh, can we get like a PDF? Uh, is that, are we breaking the law? We might be breaking the law. Are we breaking the law? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess they were just out, weren't they? That makes sense. Put the two new things in the Pikachu. Oh, come on, you cowards. <laughs> Don't just tease us with the first, like, six pages. Uh, what the hell is this? Does that mean download? Or does it mean virus? <laughs> Have I agreed to virus? <laughs> I think I just agreed to virus. <laughs> I think we're just installing <laughs> viruses on the computer. <laughs> I mean, fair play. They marked it. They told me. It's my, my fault for getting it wrong. <laughs> okay. Well, I can imagine it. Me too. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah, I love that guy. He's very cool. Very, very rad. They're defending the giant Rio can. Well, that is your most precious possession. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That's where they get the glowiness from. You're up against my dark angels. Not dark angels. Yeah, but these ones are like edgy dark angels. Oh my god, they're so edgy. You wear like cloaks and shit. Ooh. My, my big dreadnought. Um, so yeah, it's just a thousand points. Um, but it was pretty cool. Oh, look, there we go. There's an in-focus photo. Almost. Of your boys. boys. They're just rusting around the place. Yeah, so glowy. So glowy. And uh, the Dice Lord is leading your boys into battle. Mm. But yeah, that was... Uh, we are fighting on... What's the planet? Mortis Alpha. Yes, Mortis Prime. Uh, With the colonists are dug too deep. Yeah, the colonists have disappeared. Mm -hmm. And the Dork Angels turned up. And I don't know if it was the best tactical move, but it was cool mm -hmm. that I wanted my Necrons to march down the road in the middle of the wall. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the imagery of a phalanx of Necrons stomping down the street was pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, it did mean on turn one, your entire army shot them. <laughs> yeah, that was the downside. I mean, we thought this unit was like super tough because you've got stratagems to res them. They res on their own. There's a Lord and a Dice Boys to give them more, more resing. And... Um, I was thinking either I shoot everything I've got into them and try to wipe them out before they can heal, or I just don't shoot them at all. Because shooting them a bit is going to do literally yeah, nothing. Um, and so, yeah, there we go. There's my, my Dork Angels, uh, who just decided to, fine, just chuck, chuck everything into the middle except the Dreadnought. And everything did really well except the Dreadnought. Oh, tried to hold the flank on his own. He was trying his best. He was doing great. <laughs> Wasn't doing good enough. Um, I've got my Stern Guard veterans, who were actually pretty good. They were just up on the roofs, shooting away all game. Oh my god, those guys were... very tough. Um, and as we can see, this is like turn two, I guess. Uh, I can, <laughs> so your scarabs ran in to like bl um, block my rhino. And then, therefore, stop my um, command squad from getting out and charging your Necrons, who had, like, secured this objective. Which is a really good strat. And then you've got your Dr. Gloctopus there to, like, shoot anyone who yeah. tried to shoot your Necrons. Which is fun. Him just, like, pew-pew-pewing around. Mm. Uh, but after three turns of, like, coordinated firepower from everything in my army... Oh, my God. They were... These boys did eventually... Having a around. pretty sad day just being blasted. Mm, plus the oath of moment. I pinky promised the emperor that I would kill them, and it worked real good. <laughs> yeah, oath of the moment. <laughs> oh my god! Like is 
pretty oppressive. Uh, my favorite part was at like, the top of turn two when I just bombed my rhino down the middle of the board. I drew a card that said, if you control the enemy's home objective, get shitloads of extra points. And you'd left your home objective like unguarded. Yeah, like a, like a noob. And you charged your scarabs into my rhino. So my rhino wanted to just boost forward to get all the points in the world. But I had to take a one in three chance of just dying from <laughs> just, doing a... It just explode. Whatever it's called. A, if you withdraw from combat through the enemy, you just risk... Super death on a one in three chance. Yeah, which is pretty, pretty savage. Um, but he made it. He was a hero. He just blasted through like Ripley and aliens, just like plow that APC into the, into the base. Uh, oh, going the wrong way. And uh, then your Lich Guard just super fucked up my Dreadnought real bad. Well, it was the heavy destroyers. They plinked him first mm. with their damage six guns. Um, He's only got 10 wounds. <laughs> so he did not enjoy being shot. Mm. Uh, but he got blasted by that, and then... He got chopped up by them and died, but he can come back. He, so he rezzed himself, and then was just like, fuck, <laughs> see you later. Just had a little runaway. <laughs> and then they finished him off pretty quickly. Um, I'm going the wrong way again. Okay. And then after the battle... Well, oh, that's the only that's the last photo we got of the battle. So after the battle, we decided to see what would happen if our two good combat units actually did fight each other, because I'd spent most of the game running away from those guys with, mm. with my guys. And um, yeah, the simulation proved that that was the correct move. Was the right answer. <laughs> as Lich guards just really fuck up command squads. Uh, yeah, I do like my, my squad is a bit more expensive. Um, they yeah, do have two true. characters in it. Mm. Uh, they don't have a cool flag, though, do they? That means I win. Uh, we don't need a flag. <laughs> well, we've got your flag now. <laughs> oh, no. we killed you. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, the end result was awesome. It was like the close, even though it looked like I was going to stomp you because I took out that big Necron blob and I mean, like turn two or three. Yeah, God, which is, it's quite a lot of points. Um, it was super close. I had 66 points to your 65. 65 to 66, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pretty cool. So I think these were the ones that I took. Yeah. Was, this was us walking down the road, having a, just a great time. What's that in the distance? Oh no! Bullets! Space Marines! Um, that was chopping us up my just chopping, chopping your boy. He didn't even have the decency to explode. Yeah, what a, what a nerd. There's your guys looking at my mans. There we go. Scarabs. They tried to like suicide themselves in, but it didn't really work so well. No, no, because they go in. You roll a d6, and um, I think they dealt one mortal wound. <laughs> yeah, which Rhino is like self-repair one wound a turn. Yeah, I was like, uh, okay, great. <laughs> Good job, Scarabs. Uh, that was oh, the yeah. heroic last stand of my mans, as they were getting just absolutely murderated by your boys. Mm. Yeah, even in close combat, Space Marines ain't too shabby. Uh, so this was the the best fight of the game. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten about this. So my Dreadnought came back on one. No, he came, came back, back on two wounds. Two wounds. I, with my like my Techromancer, mm. uh, he managed to plink a wound off of you, mm -hmm. um, and so you're down down to one wound. And then you charged into my snipers who were just teleported in. Yeah, I was hoping I could just wipe them out with like one round of combat. Uh, but I managed to interrupt. Yeah, I left that combat till later because I thought I've got much more important combat going on on the other flank. Uh, It'll be fine. Tom counterattacks to strike first over here. So I had 10 attacks. Mm -hmm. They hit on threes. Mm -hmm. They wound on sixes. Mm -hmm. And then I get a two plus save. Um, and I managed to score two wounds, perversely. <laughs> you did, on. against all odds. And then Ben rolled his saves, <laughs> and he rolled double one. And so my Dreadnought exploded for the second time, yeah, <laughs> having done nothing. <laughs> just getting beaten to death by little Necron fists. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, Couldn't I even like, do a re-roll on it. Yeah, exactly. Um, which... I was, I think I was more surprised than you were. Um, yeah. Was. Turns out the more time you spend converting and painting a model, the, uh, the less good it is in its game. Yeah, that's it. That's just how it goes. Um, yeah, it was a, 
a memorable <laughs> part of the fight. <laughs> yeah. Just super dumb. Just, uh, just the goofiest combat ever. Yeah, it's quite good. I mean, that's like, it must be like our third or fourth game we've played now of 10th edition. First game with those armies, but we've played with the custodians yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm into it. I like Hmm. I like it. Yeah, 10th edition is probably the best edition yet of 40k. I still don't love it because it's still overly complicated and takes too long for the amount of strategies involved. Yeah, like... But I did enjoy it more than the last few editions because at least there wasn't anywhere near as much bookkeeping and flicking through rules and stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, like, does require less looking up stuff, but there's still a bit of looking up stuff. And mm. it, do it just takes a long time. Yeah, because this is only a thousand points, which is like half the size of what a normal game is. And it still mm. took us nearly three hours. Yeah. Which is a long time to play a game. Um, and I guess, like, you know, we were slower because it was two new armies that neither of us had played. Well, that's true. Them. We hadn't played with these these particular armies, which is uh, more, more book rocket looking up. But, yeah, sort of wish that a thousand points would took, like, just under an hour and a half. Mm. I feel like would be a better sort of time limit. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we can probably get it to two hours once we've played a couple more games. And I, I kind of think that Necrons are just an intrinsically slower army to play. Like, they're not mm. so fast. They don't have insane damage output, mm. and they're very, very tough. That's true. So uh, it's a bit more of a grindy game against them, isn't it? Um, whereas, you know, if I was playing world eaters like holy <laughs> yeah. shit like that game is decided on turn the, two. One, the one or two <laughs> yeah. like mo most of their army can charge turn one really uh which is bonkers mm. um, and you just have a giant scrap and you're like have i killed enough <laughs> nope <laughs> we lose. Sweet. go again <laughs> uh yeah i kind of kind of like mm. um have we checked out the 10th edition boarding action rules uh, I flick through them, um, they're the same. I mean, it's just a very minor word update so that they fit the from 9th to 10th. I wouldn't, wouldn't say they're wildly different. I would like to play more of t boarding action because you don't get like the big alpha strikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be down, down giving that a go. Um, yeah, I don't know what um, Necrons are limited to. I guess you can't take destroyers. Can't take big stuff, I guess. Wouldn't be very different. Probably can't take the heavy destroyers. Yeah. You might be able to, though, because some people can take... Like, ta uh, cr Crisis Battle Suits are allowed. But they, they lose their fly ability. Yeah. Goes down. So you might have that with Destroyers. Destroyers are fine. Scabs and Lord Only. Scabs and Lord Only would be kind of kind of jokes. <laughs> oh, they found the diorama. It's going to, like, not live up to the hype now, isn't it? Uh, uh, white Dwarf 217 Necron Dio... Rama. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very cool. Wow. Some some hero has just uploaded scans from the... Uh... So some guy's, like, trying to dig up all the old Necron models. I loved it when they made, like, this was all clearly scratch built from like random bits of kit and toys and stuff, you know? Yeah, just. Yeah, this is only half of it because there's no Praetorians here. But this is definitely the, the one I'm thinking of because look, they've got this table with the yeah, scarab I think on it's it. Like, was like bigger because there was like a little gun line of Praetorians. And a couple of wounded guys. <laughs> wounded with guys just like dotted in between. Mm hmm. Uh... But yeah, don't they look ace? They are really nice. I mean, objectively, the new ones are better models. Can't argue with that. But this is this is classic. There's something <laughs> like real goofy about them. Like these guys, like the angry eyebrows on <laughs> <laughs> old metal uh, Necrons, just looks ace. They literally their reanimation protocols were literally called "I'll be back," uh, which is amazing. Mm. Was it in this one where they had like a scenario? 
that you could play. And I swear there was a thing where I don't know how it worked, but like one one of your Oh, that's the picture I was thinking of. Yeah, that <laughs> Oh yeah, this is when they brought out the immortals, that's why we got confused. It's actually a different white dwarf. Because the Immortals and Destroyers, God, those old Destroyers look real terror bad. I love those old Destroyers. <laughs> I think that's, that's just something so lame about them <laughs> yeah. that really like tickles me. I quite like the old Immortals because they're visibly much bulkier than the old Warriors. Yeah. Like, which I don't think the new Immortals do as well. They're not big enough. And especially now that um, you have Necron Warriors with a, like a twin-barreled gun. Yeah, that's not much difference between that and the Immortals. Yeah, like the Immortals don't. Mm. They're not that crazy. I want them to look like real heavy set, you know? Yeah, 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 like way bigger and tankier. Those ones are super rare. Mm. Oh, I want to see if I can try and get hold of one of those. I'd love to get one of those guys to be the uh, like Royal Warden. Warden or something. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. They're probably even harder to find. Yeah, gee. I bet less people had those than the regular Warriors. Yeah, for sure. The fucking derpy hat, Necron. Lord. I really like that guy. <laughs> Just there's <laughs> it's a real charm to these these Necrons. Oh man, the Immortals have bigger back plates. Yeah, they do have bigger back. They plates. Are, but They've got like a it, bit of a sp bigger spine. It's but... kind of subtle though. Like it's not as obvious from a distance when you're playing a game and you're looking over the other side of the table. Um. Right. Come on. That's barely any different. Yeah. But I guess it's because they come from the same kit as the death marks, right? Yeah, yeah, That's exactly. That's where the problem is. It's cool. cool. So anyway, that that was our our week in Warhammer. We did it. We, we did played it. a Warhammer. We didn't just talk about it for once. We actually did a thing. Um, there's not actually that much Warhammer news. No, that's just more talking about Cities of Sigma, right? Yeah. There's a little preview for the new animation that looks pretty high quality, but you know, you, ne you never really know till you see it in action. Ooh, Necrons. Necron's got Necrons and Sistos. Okay. And Space Marines. The Prior Nexus. Does anyone care about the Prior Nexus anymore? Did have they ever? Well, wasn't that? It's one of those war zones, right? Yeah. was That was before... That was 8th edition, I think. What was the last Ninth one? Edition? Oh, Octarius. Yeah. Wasn't Prior Nexus on before that? Yeah. I think there might have been one. It might have been before that. <laughs> I think there's been like three or four and it was the first one. Uh, is that Ceres? Ceres? The... Oh, the Illuminator. The guy who's like schlooping blood out of that. yeah, yeah. He's like a mad, mad scientist. Mm. Uh, he's pretty cool. Who uh, wants to make Necrons humans again? Oh, okay, maybe he's gonna refleshify them. I think he's trying to make a refleshify. Okay, I might watch this. I think I've been thinking recently about if I've got some spare time like binging Warhammer Plus, subscribing for a month and just chewing through a lot of it. Because there's like two years plus of content on there now. Oh, okay, Probably worth yeah. like going through some of it. Apparently there's a Gene Steeler cult hammer and bolter that's kind of creepy. Ooh, okay. I'll, I'll check that out. Um, Primaris. 40 years of Primaris. Yeah. Do you remember the first Primaris 40 years ago? Mm-hmm. Very cool. Very big. Um... Some of them look real dumb. Some of them are okay. God, I hate these bouncy trampoline boys so much. Everyone's talking about how, because the assault marines are n not being sold anymore, mm -hmm. that means there's probably going to be a Primaris version of jump pack marines coming out soon. They, okay. haven't, they haven't previewed the new 10th edition marine releases, which will be great. I would love to see new updated jump pack boys, but I just really hope they don't end up looking at anything like these guys. Yeah, I don't love them. But most of the others are pretty cool, like the Hellblasters. Don't mind the Gravis. 
I think they're Call of Duty boys. Yeah, I don't know if I like the Gravis guys all that much. It's, it's just too much. It's, it's not as not cool as Terminator. Either, like Terminators, it? very cool. Gravis mm. Marines, there's just a lot going on. <laughs> it's too round. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here we go. Neat. Hmm. Um, boop. Got loads of City of Sigma news. Uh, wow, that's... Never going to remember which ones are these is which. They're all very similar, aren't they? Uh, where do you want to be from? Uh, I want to be the edgy Lethis. Lethis. Lethis is pretty cool. Uh, uh, just because it's literally the only one that isn't, like, like cream. Oh, Misthaven. That's kind of fun. Mm. Are they... Fish, fisherman. Hope so. Oh wow! We don't normally do this many many transfers for That's new fish. sets. That's really cool. Normally, it's just like you get you get what you get. No choices. Okay, kind of, kind of like that. Yeah, that's great. God, I feel like if you had like an Imperial Knight army, because mm. no one fucking knows who any of these guys are. Just suddenly getting some of this and slapping those. Just yeah. Get, like, just some nice insignia. Yeah, these would work great on Imperial Knights. Cool. No, good on them. Good transfer support. I like it. Grey water. They really are trying to make these guys feel way more mundane. Which is cool, because most of the stuff in Age of Sigmar is, like, super high fantasy. Yeah, like, very wacky. So um, some more grounded boys is cool. Yeah, like... I'm kind of into it. Kind of like them. Hmm. Uh, oh, I think I thought this was something else, not a painting tutorial. Whoopsie. Uh, there's some kind of Necromunda scenario where you get a horde of like mutant cultists. Ooh, looks kind of fun. Devils of Gunk Deep. Gunk Deep. Which is really what, for me, Necromunda's about, is doing big, goofy scenarios. Someone converted their, like, Ogryn into a, uh, no, like a big daddy. No, is that, like, the Water Guild robot? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I thought that was a fun conversion. Like, something? Didn't they have a big, a big Mungus? Yeah, you're right. Still, still pretty cool. Um, ah, some actual artwork from what people... In the places people live in in Age of Sigma, you don't that, see that very often. That just looks like a fucking magic card. It really looks like a magic card. If you'd like just removed Warhammer Community, if yeah, and I saw that, would be like, oh, okay, sure. It's like a just a fucking White Lands card. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and that's like a like a named land. Hmm. I don't, I don't hate it. You're right. It looks more like magic than Warhammer, but it's still cool. Hmm. I don't think he wants to be there, Tom. Nah, he's having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> and... Hmm. Cool. Little friends. Those guys again. They're back. Hooray. Never get bored of those guys. Ooh, rumor mill. What do you think that is? Stag. Stag horns. Stag horns with, like, blood dripping off of it. Or, like, guts or skin or something. What's it? What's it called when stags do the like the shedding? They oh, grow their horns yeah. and, and then like, they like the, molt. The meat is it molting? Maybe something. Whatever like that. it's called. Yeah, and it looks like flesh is dripping off of their heads. Yeah, it might be that. Um, like a wood elf thing. Yeah, like it's, a wood it's, elf character. It feels very wood elf, doesn't it? Mm. Does the green knight have stag horns? He didn't used to. Doesn't mean that he can't. No, he had like sort of. It looks more like ivy or uh, yeah. like really like leafy uh, kind of motif. Mm. Orion. Oh, could be an Orion, couldn't it? That's a good shout. I'd forgotten about him. Mm. Mm. Uh, got any more previews in here? I think it's all the same stuff, isn't it? 
We've seen all these guys now. Yeah, we've seen these before. I want new things. New things. Already bored of these. Wah. Uh, we got a new Blood Bowl boy, Dr. Squidface. It, is his mask move? Is his Does metal mask moving, or is that actually the shape of his metal mask? Because that's wildly impractical. So impractical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like I liked um, Lokir Felhart, who was the Dark Elf Pirate King, who yeah. had found an ancient Cthulian old lizard man oh, mask. Fish, fish man mask. He found a fish man mask in an underwater fish man town and it gave him magic powers and that was really cool because it, it was like he was being like corrupted by this Cthulian artifact. Yeah, space. like that was a great look. Mm. Uh, just giving it to a random Blood Bowl player sort of cheapens that somewhat. Now it's just what do all Dark Elf Corsairs have like, squid yeah. places now? But, yeah, it's but, got that sort of Star Wars treatment. Like, <laughs> right. oh yeah, that, that guy... He had a squid mask, uh, so now everyone. Now the, the whole race is. Yep. It's a squid mask centered culture mm -hmm. from yep. now on. Uh, from birth, you're given squid mask. Uh, mm. Just makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, he got hit. Yeah. Balthazar Gelt threw a squid at him and then golded it. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty good. It's pretty savage. Mm, that's why it's so dynamic. Ooh. Got a fish mm. and a little punch dagger. Nice. Black oh, ink. I can squirt ink at people. Uh, start cool. your activations. He can choose an opposition player that he's marking. Chosen player loses their tackles and. Whoa! So it's like a old hypnotic gaze, but. But it's automatic. A guarantee and once per game. It's pretty strong. It's really strong. It means like you basically always have to double, double mark that guy. Which is rough. Yeah. That could easily get you a touchdown. For sure. I was going to say, normally, these once per game powers the new star players have always feel like... A bit, a bit, bit wacky. A bit but trash. That one actually just super practical. Mm. Uh, huh. Hmm. So does the ink come out of the gold squid? Nah, he just has a mouthful of it at the beginning. And has to run around and then oh, spits on someone. <laughs> and he goes, it was the squid! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not me, I didn't cheat. Uh, for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. We've got a new orc boss who I would have said already existed. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would have would have known that guy wasn't around already. Yeah. It's probably like the third or fourth like orc war boss model they've made like this. And oh my god, he's so nothing, isn't he? Well, we've got big reveals coming next week. Yeah, when is that? When is the Nova open? Uh, next week. Wednesday oh, and Thursday. Oh, it is a week. Uh, what's EDT? Well, it's t 2 a.m. So we can cover that in the evening, I think. Oh, it's on Thursday. Uh, Fucked us. They've, they've done that on purpose. Oh, shit. They've cut us out of the pie. What the heck? How dare they? Uh, but we'll find out more about Old World. Hopefully it's actual information this time and not just like, here's a shield. <laughs> do you want to place bets? Uh, I think they're going to fucking do a good one this time. I reckon that you're going to... They're like we do something, aren't we? Like a whole model, hopefully. <laughs> I think As there's going to be a, a shot of the Bretonian box and the Skelly box. Do you think it's going to be one big box? I thought it was confirmed that it wasn't. Oh. Or maybe it is. Or are they only... I that? thought they just said that it's not going to be a starter set, which okay. makes me feel like it's going to be like a Leviathan situation. Okay. Because Leviathan's not a starter set. Oh. It's like a limited launch box. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think they'll probably do Blamo, Bretson, Skellyman. Hmm. Um. Maybe they'll find something at a car boot sale and show us that. Ooh. Fingers crossed. Well, that's basically what they're doing, right? It's just all the old models. They might show the new uh, Primark model that they've teased. Or is Heresy. A new Primark model. Mm, they put it on their like roadmap that there was going to be a new Primark. Because some of those first few are real dated now. Oh, like a Forge World one? Yeah. Ah, okay. 
Uh, Warcry. More Mud World? Oh, God, please, no, don't be Mud World. Anything but Mud World. They'll probably do new Space Marines. Yeah, that'll be a thing. Because um, their codex is out soon. And then... Underworlds? C could literally be anything. Uh, yeah, literally anything. Uh, maybe it'll be... We just had some Skaven. Did they do a vampire team? Like a gang? I think they did. God, so, they, Warcry and Underworlds get mixed up in my brain. I think they did a vampire team where like, they had an armoured vampire with a mace. And an Igor guy. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Welcome to Clay World! <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, no Kill Team, sadly. I wonder what... Because Kill Team, like, the current season's wrapping up. They're finishing all the boarding stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Quite intrigued to see what the next Kill Team thing will be. Is... I, I there is a next Kill Team thing. Hmm. But it's always out of stock, so I assume it's selling okay. We shall see. We shall see. Well, in two weeks, I guess. Uh, the Cities of Sigma. Oh, you don't Why? get any of the gun boys in the box. Or the ogre. Kind of lame. Who are the two of the coolest parts of this. Kind of a bland looking box. Yeah, is it just 20 guys with swords and, and horses? Yeah, all the cool stuff's not in the box. It feels like you just want to like slap a slap the cannon in there as well, mm. and then you feel more like you've got some shooties, you've got some melee, you've got some cav. Yeah, no, you got to wait for the cool stuff. Wait. Um. Hmm. Uh, this okay. goes. Sure. Uh, that guy, he's coming. He's a guy. He's a guy. Ah, oh, this is coming out. Oh, I want it. I just want the amble. I want all of the figures, but I definitely want the amble. I've already got the rest because of I bought um, Blackstone. I don't have the rest, Ben. They are nice models. I like the like the preacher and the navigator and the crew, and they're all cool models. But I don't have the amble. Yeah. Um. I need to find an American. Americans assemble. Send us two boxes of combat arena. Or maybe German. They, they sell them in Germany as well. But then that would really? be written in German. Uh, we probably won't play the game anyway. Yeah. I guess it would be fun to try out playing the game. Hmm. Yeah, give it once or twice. But will the American one be written in American? Oh, shit. We won't be able to read words like armor or color. That's true. We'll talk about people's trunks. <laughs> I'll say y'all. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, we must stay on the sidewalk. And I don't even know what that means. Well, it's, what's the sidewalk? Well, yeah. No idea. It's to the side of where I walk? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah. I guess that means, like, adjacent uh, hexes around your, your character, right? Right, yeah. That makes sense. To the side of where you walk. Good point. Mm. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we've seen all these. I had to click on them all because I wasn't sure if they were sneaking in a new model. I think we've seen all the models. Uh, this is new. Big axes for Space Marines, Tom. It's kind of fun. I quite like these, actually. If I did Sons of Horus, I'd pick up some of these. Just some nice little custom bolt guns with, like, drum mags and chains and straps and shit. Mm. And some power axes. It's kind of nice. £28.50. <laughs> <laughs> for fucking four power axes. Yeah, you're probably not wrong. Um, like, maybe. <laughs> doesn't say. Not out yet. Just a preview. They will be insanely priced because it's Forge World. That's what they do. Uh, yeah. could, could be a thing. <laughs> Literally could be. They've done worse. Uh, have we seen the Manticore? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it can paralyze you. Ow. Makes you strike last. The sting in the tail. Okay. That's pretty good. Mm. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I like a manticore. Um, oh, there was one thing. 
<gasps> I wanted to talk about. I've just Tell remembered. Me, Papa. Uh, Morpheus. You know these guys, right? No, not Morpheus. I literally just uh, ordered some bucks from Modifius Ben. They arrived uh, yesterday. Have I just spelled it oh, so horribly wrong? Uh, mod, it's Modifius. M O D. Mod. I. Tifius. There you go. Must have hit R instead of D, like a rube. So I just bought a, a war game set that arrived today, so I only had flicked through it. I haven't read the whole thing. But it looked really intriguing. Um, so it was only 16 quid for this rule book and all the tokens and everything. And the idea is it's meant to be like a like a Warhammer fantasy battle game that you can play without any miniatures. But you could use miniatures if you wanted to. Okay. So it comes with like this grid with squares on it and a bunch of tokens, which are almost exactly the same size as Warmaster bases. Oh. So I thought I might dig out a Warmaster army to like try this out. Because um, you get all the cards and tokens and stuff you need to play. Um, and, you know, they're not bad little tokens. They're all right. Um, but the really cool thing is in the... Uh, when I flick through the rules, you have... Um, there's, like, s eight different armies you can pick from, which are, like, generically named. Like, this is the Agile Army. This is the Tough Army. This right, is okay. the, the Resurrecting Army. Mm -hmm. Um, but then also, as well as the like eight different races, there's eight different um, like cultures you can apply to them, oh, okay. and you can mix and match that's the ones a, you want. That's a cool idea. So you can have like ancient, agile guys, or advanced technology tough guys, or um, that's a great know. that's a great way to do it. Mm. Um, it looks really cool. I want to try it out. Seems quite simple. The box says. 45 minutes to an hour to play a game. Okay, I like that. The standard size. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try playing it over the weekend. Yeah, there we go, 45 to 60 minutes. Um, and if it's cool, then I might paint up some little Warmasters to replace the plastic, like the little cardboard tokens. Amazing. Yeah, yes. that's really fun. Seems real nice. And the uh, the replayability of all the different combinations of different armies, because they're not radically different. Like the army list is still basically like warriors. Archers, cavalry. Sure. And then just you get these little special rules that modify how they work. Sounds great. I'm going to try it out. That looks pretty good. And yeah, like 16 quid. What a steal. <laughs> yeah, an absolute great. bargain. I mean, it is cheap because the components are like fairly low quality. Um, you know, like it's still, still good value, but I was a bit disappointed when it arrived and it was like, it was just like the book wrapped in plastic, but then tucked into the book with these. A4 sheets and all the cards and all the tokens have to be like popped out of the sheets. Ooh. So they're this really thin card quality. Oh, uh, okay. Um, the tokens weren't as bad. They were like proper like board game card stock. But everything else was a bit flimsy. Um, okay, well, I can't argue for the price. It was Yeah, holy shit. And uh, yeah, looks looks like a fun, fun little game. Like you could play it on your kitchen table kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. I like that sort of vibe. And, uh, you know, any excuse to, like, paint up some tiny toys. Mm. Plus, you know, giant spider. Right? Oh, giant spider. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So if it's any good, do you want to try it out? I'd love to. Nice. You've still got some Warmaster armies kicking around, haven't you? You could just, like, use yeah. it straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got a bunch of Warmaster. Um, I would. I would love that. Nice. Have they done a 40K version? Like no, this, one. this literally just came out, okay. so I guess they'll see how it goes. But you know, as a as a wargaming rules nerd, mm. I had to put this on my shelf. Yeah, well, sounds cool. Uh, yeah, so check it out. I thought that was cool. Worth a shout out. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. But yeah, I like the Diffius. There's a lot of good, a lot of cool things. Uh, did we look at that? Yeah. We must have done, must, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we did, I remember. Yeah, fire, Fireman. Fireman. What's new in Vietnam this week? Whoa. Um, <laughs> oh, it's like a, just literally a fucking set of, like, rails that go on the turret of some fucking tank. Oh, wow. And, like, a different antenna. Yeah, okay. That's uh, a good one. I'm going to go with um, uh, improvised uh, armor that goes on like 
the outside, like logs yeah, and planks and like nice. cage. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, we got an infinity you. He's all right. Like a little Kragnos. Mm, Kragnos helmet. Oh, a little helper bots. Uh, wow, Thank that guy's you. got that one Fallout haircut. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Uh, I like the health bots. They're cool. Yeah, they're kind of fun. Oh, wow. Classic Clooney Batman and Robin complete with, the with fat nipples. Nips. <laughs> Love that. Ready to punch Mr. Freeze in the dick. Nice. They don't have their little ice skates on, though. <laughs> oh, my God. The bat <laughs> ice skates. Holy shit. <laughs> God, he, he really does think of everything, doesn't he? He's man? always prepared. God. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, that like, was the, the goofiest thing ever. Do you think the the nipples actually have a tactical purpose? Oh, yeah, they buy you that moment of distraction. <laughs> well, that, that too, <laughs> as every villain is like, oh, <laughs> oh. and then... Wow! wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you're mm. you are up against Mr. Freeze in your cold. Oh. And so you don't want your nips to chafe. And so there's extra, little. Extra padding. Li well, there's little, uh, you know, divots for them to. Oh, I see. Expand into because it's cold and they're going right. to harden. Right. Yeah, and of so course. Means they're not going to rub on it. And, and there's room to expand. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> tactic. So they're, they're purely for when fighting. That's cold environment bat armor. Yeah. Wow, well, he thinks of everything. Yeah, he? he's against Mr. Freeze. That's why they have the ice skates built. <laughs> right, of course, because they didn't use any of that stuff when they were fighting the Joker. At all, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they didn't crack out any of that, like, those bits, because they didn't need it. Of course. Batman, very clever. Wow, what a guy. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. They look exactly right, don't they? I mean, like, night miniatures just have... The night models have the fucking best painters. Yeah, they, they really bring these shit, models like, to life. Always beautiful, like sculpts, but the first painting models for them is phenomenally good. Mm. Uh, Perry's as good as always. Uh, big old dinosaur. My God, that model must be humongous. It's pretty cool. Those guys are like ogre sized. It's real big. He's got a beard. Uh, it's a robot. All right. It's pretty cool. Is this a uh, like a brand that, or like an anime or something, or is this like a new thing? I know it really has that sort of even Evangelion kind of like font sort of style, but I don't know if it is um... because I have to admit, if it's not based on something, that makes me way more interested. <laughs> Uh, Which is the opposite reaction to what they're hoping for. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I think it character. might just be generic and just really playing on... Playing on all the tropes. Miniac did a video on that game today. Oh, okay. What does he reckon? Mobile Arms is a show? Is it? Hmm. We saw these last week. Yeah, these aren't new. Boo. Boo. That's a nice little train piece. Well, humongous train piece. Kind of fun. Kind of fun. Kind of impractical. Space, space, space. Mm -hmm. Some spaceships. All right. Yeah. Uh, 0200 hours is now in the desert. Oh, I love it. Hey, it's me. Oh. It's me multiple times. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's perfect, because this is where, like, the SAS were founded, right? In the desert. And they would go on, like, you know, midnight raids, driving across the desert in little jeeps to attack airfields and fuel depots and stuff. Yeah. So that fits the, um, uh, fits the scenario perfectly. Plus, you've oh, got a good boy. There's a guy with a dog. He doesn't want to be in the desert. No, he's not built for desert, desert warfare at all. No, send him home. They need, like, battle camels. Hmm. Yeah, they're cool. Like, all those models have got, like, a ton of character to them. Yeah, they're way more fun than just generic plastic man, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, they're cool. I still need to play this. I've got a copy of it now. I need to try it out. I'm thinking about yeah, I'd kind of like play. to give it a go. Like, I, I feel like this draws me in far more than just, um, like, just standard World War II mm. game. Like, 
normally I'd want to play like a, one of the pulpy ones. Yeah. Um, uh, what's it like? Uh, I can't remember the, what they're called, but I know the ones you mean. Um, but uh, doing like the little spy. Yeah, a little commando raid at midnight. I was trying to think if there's a really fun way to like film like a midnight raid with like searchlights and stuff. So where we something we can do where like I don't know. I guess it still has to be lit so you can see the board and the miniatures. Is there like some kind of like special effect you can just like invert the the colors, just make it like night mode? Yeah, you can. You know how, and it always looks great <laughs> when people have filmed in like the woods or something and you know they filmed in daytime they just put that heavy blue filter yeah. and yeah those real cheap shit movies yeah and it never just looks just garbage um, I don't know can you not just have it in like a much darker room and then just have more like LEDs and stuff we'd have to just have lots of small light sources instead of like big over the top. yeah lights. and I think you could make a really fucking cool Hmm. We might have to like limit players' movement choices. Like you have to walk in the bits that are lit properly, kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know. I think a bit of like fiddling around. Yeah, might take a long time to film. Get loads of little street lamps. Yeah, 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 LEDs exactly. Um, yeah, like you know, like I think you've got like a watchtower with like a, a big like searchlight that could be projecting a lot of light down onto the board. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be great. It would look really cool if we get it right. It's going to take a bit of experimentation, I think. I would love to do that. Wow, shit, that's actually Rommel. Oh, my God. Mm. Holy shit, how many fucking SAS raids was he involved in? Uh, I'm guessing zero. <laughs> probably not many. But <laughs> sure, why not? Wow. Got to have the big names in there to get the people in. Yeah, you really got to draw them in. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, that's kind of fun. Fun Space Knight model. They're pretty awesome. It's big. 75 mil. I guess it's like an alternate Primark. Or just a fun model to have. Is that like a Sanguinius? Yeah, because what they've... um, There's an alternate... Oh, that's definitely <laughs> a fucking Sanguinius. Like, I, I can spot a Space <laughs> Yeah, there you go. You're not wrong. He looks fucking awesome. That is pretty cool. I don't... Something quite... Not right. No, our tail models are normally flawless, but there's something not right about that face. And that pose. I don't know. It doesn't quite work for me. Like, I think I prefer the Forge World one. You know? I like it. Hmm. Why is it 97 now? It's the wings and the little extra bit. Yeah, you know, he's a Primark. Is that how big Primarchs are? Sure. Feels big. I don't know. I've never measured one. No, anyway, they're both nice models. Oh, only 32 parts. That's actually fairly restrained for such a large model. Also, 15 options. So does it mean 15 of those parts you're not actually sticking on? Wow, yeah. How many options? What? Because obviously, like, uh, sure, different head, different weapon. What, like, is there like a little belt, different belt buckle or something? Hmm. So what is that? That sorry. Oh, sorry. What is that one bandage doing? It's decoration. It's like on oh, maybe on the other side. There's like a blood drop or a purity seal. Right. Or something like okay. That. I thought these were like fun little bandit. Bandages. Oh right. Those are his ripped feathers that he's like taped like, back on. Just stick it together. <laughs> he bought crondies yesterday. He's a big lad. Who's crondy? What's a crondy? Oh, I hate the way that their links are not actually fucking links. Yeah. The goddamn pro is 20 feet tall. Well, actually, no one knows how tall he no, is. No, because he's a normal man. He makes himself look however you big he wants to look. You would perceive him as a 20 foot tall, tall man. What's he called? Guardian Angel. Can I do a set? Whereas I see his true form as Kreblo. Kremlo. Uh. But also, the Emperor was born in like, you know, 10,000 BC, right? Or something like that. Oh, so, yeah. And he wasn't like hunted down as a monster freak of nature. He was just like normal man, but with mega psychic powers. Mm -hmm. So like people, every generation, people are like a little bit taller, right? So like average height of average person 
10,000 BC was probably like 5-4 or something, right? Yeah. Because like Romans were like 5-6 or I don't know. Something like that, right? He would have been real little. Littler than just like normal people. I'm going to look that up. Well, he's got magic. Magic powers. Average height prehistoric man. Whoa! Okay, sounds like we started tall and then got small and then got tall again. Oh, what is that? That graph. That backs it up. Whoa! No. <laughs> Why yeah. the ear just vertical? Fucking, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like modern food. I assumed it was just always this sort of steady increase. But, turns out, God, we used to be a race of giants. Is it, what? Where is this data from? Is this like, we used the Bible? <laughs> uh, All the antediluvians were 10 feet tall. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, they lost like a solid, like, 20 centimeters. Oh, look, this this line here is zero BC, is zero, like year zero. Okay. So this must be like industrial revolution. Right. Like, like where, you know, where there was like healthcare and food and shit. Okay. So this is like, this downward slope is like the dark ages. Huh. This, this is wacky graph. Okay, cool. Yeah, Emperor Giga Chad. Cool. Yeah. Checks out. Emperor, actually, very big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? I'll allow it. Uh, where were we? Oh yeah, I was going to see all the different different options on this guy. Okay, cool. Wings and heads and hands and swords and pistols. And pistol. Yeah, that's cool. Those all look like good options. Nice. I like it. Mm, me too. Uh, some little Ooh. Eldar in Epic. Oh, yeah, they didn't mention Epic in the previews. Maybe that counts as Horus Heresy. Yeah. Don't know. Mm. Uh, but yeah, 10 little gun platforms. Nice. Very cute. And some little Nurgle boys. Oh, they look great. They actually look really cool, don't they? I like those. God, a little Nurgle army would be so quick to paint. Vanguard miniatures do some really nice epic stuff, actually. Um, if anyone wants, like, nice epic alternative models, they are really good. Ooh, civilians. I see that very often. Mainly servitors, but... Kind of cool. I love them. This guy's holding the ice cream maker from Empire Strikes wow, Back. Wow, that guy's here. <laughs> yeah, everyone's favorite. Who are the bar bargast robots? Uh, the big dogs. Yeah. I have no idea. What the fuck are they? Um, they're wild. <laughs> bark, 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 bark. I kind of like them. <laughs> Which faction are they for? I don't know. <laughs> Are they for epic? Oh, sweet. Workers' corpses. <laughs> just what I always needed. Wow. <laughs> so someone stole the ice cream maker. Oh, no. That's the objective. Holy shit. Wow. Salvage crew. Oh, my God. I just I love this. these weird kind of like... Oh, they're cool. Wacky boys you can put on like scenery and stuff. Nice. This is how ice cream maker is made. Very neat. Anyway, where did we get to? Uh, Mimic Barrel. Nice. He's amazing. I love him. Barrel Mimic. Very cool. He's a fun guy. What? <laughs> it's Banana Tyrant, Tom. Right. Have you? Do you not have a Banana Tyrant? It looks like he's got tits for eyes. <laughs> He's amazing. I love his brain eye. 
just there's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. There's just a lot going on in this one model. This banana ray gun. It feels like they could have stopped. I can't tell if he's like a hundred foot tall or like six foot tall. Oh my god! Like you'd want him to be a hundred feet tall. <laughs> yeah. Just use him in your epic army as like a titan. It's Why not? Bonkers. <laughs> just. Why? What is it? Oh god! The worst part is like the fact that his face flesh is exact is so harshly cut into his meat <laughs> meat flaps. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow! Why? <laughs> Obviously, to go with your barrel mimic. Look, those guys, barrel mimic and barrels. Hundred percent, I can see who would. Be like, oh yeah, shit, those are great. I'm doing a D and D thing. <laughs> yeah. When were they like? You know what our range is missing. <laughs> right, it's like weird. Hit Here, man. Here's our gap in the market. No one else is making no, banana tyrants. No, there just isn't enough <laughs> banana tyrants. <Yeah. laughs> just don't. Well, now you know who your next D and D villain's gonna be. I just right? don't. Everyone buy yourself a banana tyrant for your next campaign. <laughs> I kind of love it. Make banana tyrant the big, the big bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, what the fuck? Oh, just, okay. Yeah, I don't know what else I could say. It sure is a thing. Uh, October continues, but they're still not actually showing us anything. Wah. Excuse me. Um, and it's a stug. It, it's not even like a weird stuck. <laughs> no, it's just the early stuck. Before they put the big gun on it. Okay. Okay. And then no Kickstarter roulette. Boo! I think it might be gone forever. Well, this week's new Kickstarter campaigns. Yeah, that's the one where they sort of just highlight the good ones. Oh. Uh... Or maybe they don't. We get to see the pictures, which kind of ruins the fun. Yeah, that's not nearly as good. Uh, I like the Victoria Mini's like alternate uh, Rough Riders, but like Gaunt's Ghosts and uh, yeah, Victoria miniatures are just amazing. Uh, mm, what is this? The elegant mech. Okay. Okay. Solar system dice. All right. Uh, oh, I got advertised this, and I nearly backed it on an impulse. Really? Um, because it was promising to be like Command and Conquer, the board game, but where each battle only takes like an hour, but then it's like a thirty mission campaign, and the effects of each battle like affect next one and some of the missions are you have no buildings and you just have your little dudes running around like a dungeon that sounds amazing which all sounded really cool but then i flicked through the the kickstarter campaign and thought i'm not going to just spend 90 fucking quid on it oh uh, okay because it's like 60 quid plus the postage and, and right the, and that and everything so i was like okay let's actually calm down and watch a video and see if the game's actually yeah really okay because i can imagine a really cool version of that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like well, the pitch that you gave me instantly sold. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, don't, I and I haven't yet got round to watching the um, the video yet. So I don't know actually if it's any good. If the video actually looks like it's got good gameplay, I might back it. Ooh. But I am very tempted just on nostalgia alone because I fucking loved Command and Conquer and Starcraft and Red Alert back in the day. But I can't. I find it really hard to enjoy those games nowadays. Yeah. But yeah. Maybe yeah. in board game form, I still can. Yeah, I really like that idea. Also, dominate and delegate. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite uh, the... <laughs> We've got Command and Conquer at home. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's got its charms. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, I love the idea of, of that. Yeah, I think it's a great concept. But I could also imagine a terrible version of it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, look, you got the indoor tiles for oh, like those missions. Cool. And your little production queue, all your things move down, left return, and, and whatnot. Man, could be great. Might not be. Also, the artwork's not amazing. 
but still, very tempted. I'll check out the video and report back maybe next week. Yeah. A little sad. Uh, I've got boss and shit. Hyena. Hyena lady. Ah, oh, gobos. Groblins. Wow, those groblins look amazing. Those are good gobos. Oh, they just look like better version of the old, just like common goblins. Mm. They're really nice. 10 out of 10. Uh, trick shot archer. Cool wow. in the board game. Ooh, dice. <laughs> Oof. Pre-painted. Huh. Okay. God, it's such a weird concept, because all I think of with Call of Duty is just, you know, Twitch reaction gameplay. Yeah. Which obviously you can't do in a board game. So suddenly it becomes this, like, turn-based strategy game. And how do you even start capturing the essence of Call of Duty in that sense. I don't know. Like they've got boards. It sounds like maybe you could be like plotting your moves and covering mm. different angles and who knows? I have no idea. No. Seems like an odd pitch. I don't know how much overlap there is between Call of Duty players and board game players. Yeah. Yeah, they feel kind of different. Wow, there's a lot of it though. Okay, but Although with your opponents actually like at the table opposite you, you can really shout so much abuse about what you did to their mum. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That must be a, a mechanic of the game. <laughs> yeah. Where you just hurl <laughs> abuse about how you fucked their mum. <laughs> For that authentic God experience. But you have to do it in quite a high-pitched 12-year-old voice. Uh, I'm, I'm in. Uh, I love this guy. Maybe that's the to determine who goes first mechanic. Oh, who can say the most scathing <laughs> thing about the other one's mother. <laughs> yeah. Or whoever fucked the other one's mum last <laughs> gets to go first. Uh, yes, perfect. Okay, I think that makes sense. Oh. Um, who is this beautiful little boy? He looks like Lilo or Stitch. Like a evil baby, baby Yondo. Yes. Glup Shitu. Uh... This one has a sock <laughs> on his ear. <laughs> He's free. He is free. Oh, I love these guys. <laughs> they are adorable. What are they called? Mucklets. <laughs> mucklets. Just great boys. I do enjoy the mucklets. I'm glad they exist. Oh, uh, and then there's... And then it got horny. Then it got I'm horny. surprised it took this long, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> well, Okay. Um, this is better than last week's um, alternative Kickstarter roulette. Which I feel like was just mostly horny. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the alternative Kickstarter roulette. It's still nice to see some things. It's just not as exciting. Yeah. No, it's yeah. like spinning a wheel, the old one, wasn't it? It was way more fun. It was actually a game. <laughs> yeah. Whereas this... It's looking at a list. It's just seeing things. <laughs> um, Which is still fun. It's nice to see things. But... It's not... It's not right. It's just not right. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess that's all the news. Wow. What is this? Don't know. That's a... Fucking awesome. Big big boy. What's it called? I'm into these. It is Myths of Valor. Cool. Okay. Sure. I guess it's like a villain pack for a D and D campaign? Sure. They're a bit like um Crispel Knights, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, I like them. Mm. Kind of fun. Yeah. Kind of rad. It's a cool like design. Old, pretty pretty sweet. Yeah, I like them a lot. Um, I backed a Kickstarter this week, actually, now I think about it. Oh, yeah. Called Eat the Reich. Oh, I heard about this. I think I got advertised it. Um... And you play as, like, commando vampires. 
and your job is to drink all of Hitler's <laughs> blood. I'm sold. Uh, just <laughs> that pitch was all I needed. So what is it? Role playing game? Board yeah, it's a game? role playing game. <laughs> okay. Um, but I thought it had just amazing art style. Just yeah, looked super duper cool. That's fun. Um, and. The... Oh my god, you're right. What if you do accidentally create Vampire Hitler? No, because if, if you drink all of his blood, then um, he you, dies, right? You've got to backwash some of your blood into him, right? To turn him into a vampire. If you... Are you only... Isn't it just like you... Bleep, and then... They will become a vampire, but if you drain all the blood, then they die. Oh, uh, okay. So what if you get interrupted, like, halfway through? Yeah, they like, just made Vampire Hitler. Fuck, that's so much worse than regular Hitler. Yeah, don't do that. It's a high-risk high operation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... But yeah, uh, back this. I thought it was cool. Mm. But... It's really unique art style. It's not what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. Like I really, really like the art style for it. Um, I think it was this guy. This guy was cool. Mm. He was Cosgrove, uh, the third best necromancer in London. I was like, Great. that guy what sounds a, ace. What a title. He's, he's not even the best. <laughs> yeah. Not even second best. And somehow he's in the party. Um, <sighs> uh, but yeah, like, you, how you're a bit of a sucker for role playing. Um, the board games rules. Like, man, I love a role playing, mm -hmm. role -playing system. And sorry, I was like, I'll do it. Nice. I backed a Kickstarter actually as well, which I haven't done for years. Wow. Um, I went right off of it just before lockdown. Um, what was it called? Hang on, I've just got to check my emails. Um, uh, was it, it looked a bit like an FTL board game. That's what sold me on it. And it wasn't, it wasn't like 100 quid like some of them are. Um, oh, fuck. I cannot remember, and my emails are being crappy. London's a big city, but what number best streamer are we in Bristol? <laughs> uh, Not even like top three of the Yogs cast. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let alone uh, all other streamers. <laughs> but luckily, we've not been chosen to go and kill Hitler. <laughs> yeah, true. I think they would have got better streamers to do it. <laughs> um, Kickstarter... Board game solar. It was solar something. Um, solar. Shit, there's another game. All right. Minus 175. Do not include. Oh. <laughs> Great. That's the sh keyboard shortcut for Shadow Play. Perfect. All right. Do not include 175. Solar Titans. That was it. Um, it looks like you draw cards and you build your like FTL ship and battle other people. That's fun. I thought it looked really cool, and it was like twenty pounds or something like that. Um, so that's they, it's going to arrive next month. It's like a real quick turnaround. Only wow. back to like a month ago. Okay. I guess because it is just a pile of cards. There's no like yeah, it's like stuff. as crazy a production time. Um, looks cool. But yeah, the concept looked great. And you pew pew. And it plays pretty quickly. It's not too complicated. It's like building little spaceships, really. That's fun. Fun idea. And you can do, um, you can have like team up against big ships. Oh, okay. Whether dueling or, like, yeah. You got co op mode as well. Ooh. Does it all. So, yeah, I'll let you know if it's any good or not when I get it in like a month. But, uh, I'm excited for it. It's my first like Kickstarter in years. That sounds ace. Mm. 30 to 60 minutes. That's like the ideal amount uh, of time to play a board that's game. That's a really good, really good amount of time. Mm. Enough to kind of get into it, but not outstaying its welcome. Are there a billion pounds worth of add-ons? There might be. I didn't do any of them. I did this one. Um, no, not really. Like, it goes up from, like, you know... 25, 35, and then it's the retail one where you just get four copies. Oh. Oh, shit. It's not got a million, like, you know, stretch goals or anything. Mm. Yeah. 
very neat. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, we should probably maybe take a little break, um, and then we'll be back playing some FDL. 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 Uh, awesome. Which I'm very, very excited for. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll take five, and then we'll read all your lovely messages and donations, and have a fun chat. Amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we'll be back very soon. Um, stay tuned. Goodbye. See you in five. Yes, pumpkin. Bam, 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 bam. Tom, 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 tom. Bam, 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 bam. Tom, 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 tom. Welcome back, everybody. Tom, 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 tom. What ship should we play today? Uh, right, we have done that ship. Mm -hmm. We had a go with that ship. Mm -hmm. We won with that ship. We did. We. I feel like we did. We did do this ship, didn't we? Uh. uh take Mac Four. I think we did this one. It's familiar. And the monotony. We did that one, I think. God, I can't remember. Uh, that's who we. Who but we, we the B's and C, we we did win with the A, because that's um, that's what we did last week. But we did unlock the B and the C. So that one just has a bomb. Yeah. What's the number two? Recon drones. I don't even know what they do. Controllable airborne recon drone that explodes on death. They switch between defense and boarding. They take fifty percent damage in boarding mode. Uh, they move very fast and rapidly destroy locked doors. Mm -hmm. They reveal life forms in adjacent rooms. Explode on death. Oh, so I think it's like a boarding guy that doesn't actually do damage, but he knocks down doors and scans rooms and explodes. Okay. Kind of weird. Um, but there's only one crew member on that ship. Which is wild. But a, tr a three space boarding room. Oh, and it's got a clone bay, so... Um, you just wave assault the, the suicide uh, orders. And then what's the C? Uh, that was... Oh, that was the C. What was the B? Um, bomb, four man. That's four. Oh, right. So this is another kamikaze suicide bomber ship. Yeah. I want to do something different. We did the suicide run last week. So there's this one, which you don't board, and it has a... It's got a b battle bot and an ion bot. And it has level three mind control. Oh, but no teleport room and no guns. Which is wild. Want to say no gun build? Uh... Oh, there's the one with Davrock. But that's kind of another... I feel like we've done like three or four boarding ships in a row, you know? We should probably not do another boarding ship for a, for a break. Do you want mind control and boarding? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this one would run. It's either going to win win big or lose big. Yeah. Let's do the pacifist ship. The monk... Are, are these guys all monks? Were they not fighting hand-to-hand? -hand? Monks. Yeah, cannot fight crew or sabotage systems. It's the pacifist ship. Okay. I love it. Let's be pacifists. We won't kill them. Our salvaged guns will kill them. Yeah, our battle bot. <laughs> yeah. He kills. <laughs> uh, battle bot Mark II. It's pretty good. Oh, wow, that is beefy. Him and the... Um, it has 50% bonus damage. He's got 200 health. That plus mind control might be enough to overwhelm a lot of ships early on. Okay. Although, if they have, like, if they board us med bays fast. or stuff, like, it might be really tough. We have to salvage a weapon fast. Yeah. Well, let's do it. Uh, okay. Right, we did challenge. Do we want to try extreme this time? Ooh, extreme pacifist mode. Sure. So it's still on normal mode. This will massively increase the difficulty of the true ending. Extra preparation options at the start are disabled. They're faster. Renegade. And there's a lot of words. Yeah, it just sounds like it's going to be harder. 
It's fine. We can handle this. Uh. Hmm. Hold a ritual? Without, because we're monks. Meditate very briefly. Meditate for one jump. Meditate for two jumps. Oh, it's just do a load of repairs. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. That's cool. I want to ask. We're on a salvage mission. Great. Mm. Uh, is that a Zoltan shield? Mm-hmm. Sure is. Wow. Okay. Well, that super helps. Yeah. Um. Sure. Okay. I think step one, get gun. You know? Yes. We'll have to put someone in sensors, won't we? Just to see <laughs> their crew members. Yeah. We'll have to fiddle all the power systems, too. We've got a battery. Someone's in the door. Yeah, don't stand in door control. Jeez. Especially because all of our guys provide power. Um, okay, right. We can put one more. <laughs> Oh my god, for a ship crewed by four Zoltan, we really don't have much power. No. Oh no, he's in defense mode. Hang on, and I think we can... Ch can we change it mid-fight? If you look in the top right, top left, there's a button. Yeah. Okay. okay. Off he goes. Wow, he's real slow. Yeah. There he goes. Boop. Bonk. Oh, is it a drone ship? Oh. So, oh, yeah, it says auto fighter. Ooh. Oh, dear. There's nothing to mind control here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, it's all right. No actual hull damage, just breaches. Okay. We may as well take power out of mind control and put it in engines. Oh, it's just this beam now. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Ow. Oh, this is just rude. <laughs> like, come on, you're not even hurting us. You can't win like this, my dude. Okay, well, I guess we don't need shields. Yeah. Wait. Why did you go offline? Why is he offline? What's happening? Oh, I fired the wrong boy. Oh, you've got to, um... It's awkward because that Zoltan was providing power. So it would only power the first thing in the menu. Oh. Shit. Well, our boy's gotta gotta get in that med bay. Is he can we, I up? don't think we can even kill the ship. Uh we can kill we can do four hit points to it by destroying all the systems. Um Then what? Then we have to hope it repairs one and then destroy it again? I think that's how this works. God, this ship is terrible. I guess uh, if they had crew, we could kill the crew. Yeah. It's quite unlucky for the, the no gunship to run into an auto ship, first of all, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> okay, so we do have some messages I can read out. Yeah, read to me. Uh, Willif has donated. Thank you so much. And you say, hell, Tom and Ben. Tom, you mentioned you were working on some Necrons. My favorite bit of Necron lore is when they killed a Catan, and instead of shattering them, they ended up changing the laws of physics. Oops, we shot this guy, and now Pi is irrational. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, wacky. And because it, I guess it happened millions of years ago, we're just used to that now. We don't know what it used to be. Yeah, what was it, like 60, 65 million years ago is when <laughs> yeah. they uh, blew up the Catan. Uh, which... Whoopsie, we broke the universe. Yeah, not what you uh, want to do. No wonder <laughs> everyone's a bit mad. Uh, I think I'm just going to jump away from this. Oh, O2 is off. Oh, that explains This it. is another problem with having all these Zoltans. Um, every time you move, it fucks up your power. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Um, it's all right, look, we can blow up the last two rooms. We, we're going to win. Oh, okay, they did repair their... It's just going to take a thousand years. All right, stop that. 
Wow, micromanagement, the ship. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, Vorbaum oh, was donated as well. Turned Because <laughs> he walked through the drone room. And then <laughs> it just pulled all the power out. Oh, oh so annoying. <laughs> Um, Vorbound says, Terror Mission Tom, and blow up the Sky Ranger Ben. I assume you heard about Lewis cheating on you with Ravs. Honestly, I'm loving Ravs' YouTube content. Anyway, this week's game recommendation is Urban Cards, a really fun deck builder themed in a capitalist hellscape. Ooh. Ooh sounds too real for me right now. I'll have to check it out. Urban Cards. Should we, should we Google it? Um, but yeah, I did see. I watched the video, actually. Lewis showed Ravs uh, classic XCOM. Because Ravs has got a series where he's getting people to show off their like favorite games. Yeah. Did you do one with them? I did. Mm. I don't think it's come out yet. Not yet. Uh, it looks familiar. It does look familiar. It's a, it's a man. Ah, it's me! Nice. Wow. What a bad rat. Bad rats. That's a good game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just going to wait for the... It's not the lowest rated game on Steam anymore, though. What? What is now? I don't know. Warhammer 3. Oh! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Shit. Get some ice. Uh, oh, wow. Um... You. Apparently it's Overwatch 2. That makes sense. Really? Well, why are people mad at Overwatch 2? I don't know. Blizzard suck? Yeah. No, I, I was just referencing oh, that... I can't even um, mind control a slug. Total War 3 has been review bombed because they ramped up the price of the DLC. And everyone's, everyone's real mad. Yeah. I guess I could fight in there. Do they have a pilot? God, we've only got 10 drone parts. Battlebot is not the strongest. No. Little underwhelmed by Battlebot. Having like the crueler ship and then slug ship is bad news <laughs> for us. Yeah, we've not been able to, the one thing our ship's got going for it is the mind control and we just haven't been able to use it. Okay, we desperately need more drones. Oh god. Can I just kill? Oh, we can um, vent that fire at least. Nice. Oh, okay, the slugs are getting tired. And they are coming in one at a time, which is very kind of them. Just kill before the missiles. Oh, good. Hooray! Hey! <laughs> rude. Very rude. Uh, they don't even have enough to actually go to that shop yet. Hmm. Crude King Keldurian has donated as well. Thank you very much. And they say, Battle Report. The recent heat surge has led to the resurgence of the files and the food moths. Flies, sorry. Uh, many have fallen, but their source of reinforcement has not yet been found. Oh no. Several sweaters broke several swatters broken. Wrist swollen. Send cream. Oh man, you want to get some of that tape that like hangs down and that they just fly into and stick to. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh, that'll get rid. Uh do we want Burko for forty bucks? <laughs> uh not really, no. We need gun. Uh, Though we can't cutting. really use a gun yet. I had loads of little flies in my house last summer, and it turned out they were coming from my plants. Oh, shit. Like that's some, annoying. Something had laid eggs in the soil that my plants were in. Oh. And so I had to, like, scrape the top, like, inch of soil off of all my plants and repot them all. Oh, God, what a pain. Which was a real pain. But it did solve the problem. Okay, well, to get good. rid of the flies. I had billions of little flies buzzing around. 
Uh, do you want a mantis? I want gun. But it's expensive. Mm. Do they even have a good gun? High on charger. Yeah. Reach bomb. Yeah. Mining beam. Wow, Three it's powers. really long though. Look at that. Five length. Uh, shield piercing one. System damage two. Like, it's pretty good early, but it's going to cost a lot to actually mm. get online. Yeah. I think we just got to... Got to keep looking. How many jumps have I got? Five. Six. Five. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Right. One, two, three, four. We could go one, two, three, four, five. Something like that. This is the stress. What's going to help someone? I don't know if we've we're, got time. We're monks. Oh, It'll be fine. Now. Probably. Good luck, Crude Kink. Uh, Cats of Ulthar has donated as well. It says, hi, Tom and Ben. It's not a secret that the Tau Auxiliary races are underdeveloped. And as GW seems to have no ambition to do something interesting with them, how about you try something you've never done before and choose one of the Tau races and make up some lore? I feel like that's something we've done quite a few times. We've we've done a lot of brainstorming of like new tower auxiliaries in the past. It's been one of our every time someone asks, "What would you add to 40k?" Uh, we talk about tower auxiliaries. Yeah, that's like one of the main things we want to change. Could we turn the music down a little bit? It's kind of loud in, in my little ears. Oh, oh, that's much better. Does we have a power? Combust. Uh, yeah, do it. Damages crew and systems. Amazing. Yeah, I don't mind if I get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, let's hope we find more plants to explode. Oh, battle bots come good. Battle bots doing okay. Hey! <laughs> halt, criminal! You jerk. Pow! Yay! Uh, uh, we probably want the Mantis or the Rock Man, don't we? Because we don't have a lot of boarding defense. Free them all. We're peaceful. Oh, we're going to roleplay as monks. Hang on, didn't we have four monks? Mm, I don't know if we did have four monks. Uh, we didn't go to a place and one of the monks just got killed by uh, just a, a click. <laughs> oh, no. That, was, okay. that didn't happen. Didn't happen. I don't, I, if you didn't see it, it didn't <laughs> happen. Uh, we should be naming these people. Uh, Before they mysteriously die off screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Cats of Old Thar. You're in. Uh, LT King. And Yarl Phoenix. Yarl. The old name. Yarl. Now we've got even less power than we had. <laughs> yeah. Not ideal. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you the same answer we did last time, which is uh, Little Worm Boys for Tau. Do you remember? Yeah, that? they're my favorites. Google Worm Tau Auxiliaries. Someone like sculpted a bunch. Uh, they're very cute. We can find that. Uh, tau. How do you spell auxiliary? Google will fix it for you. Uh, okay. Worms. Well, I remember last time it was kind of hard to find. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. there we go. These guys. Little wormulons. Someone converted. Like, I just love them. Weird little psychic worms. With, like, tau guns strapped to their back. Just, I wish they were a thing. <laughs> yeah. I'd do a whole army of fucking worms. <laughs> um, really, really like them. Yeah, they're great. Uh, Yeah. Uh, we don't need to do anything. Right. Please don't shoot my thing down. Power up the mind spongulator. We might have to suspend oxygen during battles, <laughs> it feels like. <laughs> you can. Oh, you see late now. 
I think I might just put like two pips into. Ow! God, this Ow. is gonna fucking suck, isn't it? Mm. Nice. Very cool. Uh, what do we want? Anti hull. Not bad. Hmm. I just want like a burst gun too, you know? Something yeah, like exactly. Hmm. Uh, heroically average is donated. How many shots does the anti hell make? Just two. Mm. You don't know, the system loss rooms. Yeah. It's okay in like the first and second sector, maybe, but yeah. Oh, it only requires one power. Yeah. Maybe we should get it just so we have a gun. Let's do it. Better let them breathe. Let the people breathe. Give these people air. <laughs> uh, okay, go and have a. Have some fun. And buy a thing, buy a thing. Oh, we didn't need the gun upgrade. Oh, well, we'll need it later, I guess. Uh, oh, we already have one, sure. Where do you most want to be? Oh, you're pretty good in engines, sure. What does Pulse do? Oh, it stuns oh. people in the room. Okay, nice. Uh, heroically Average has donated, thank you very much. And they say, Tom and Ben, good day. Good day. Much less nurgly this week, so hurrah. Although I'm feeling a bit down about life and career choice stuff. Oh, well, at least you got you two nerds and the stream. Usually brightens my Wednesdays. Thanks, lads. Side of money this time. Ooh, thank you very oh, much. Thank you very much. Sorry you're not feeling so great. Um, just keep, keep, keep on keeping on. You'll be okay. That charge laser Mark III would have been. Oh, why did we spend all our money? Would have been the best. Oh, it feels real bad. I don't think man. we get 50 bucks. How much do we get for selling the intruder bot? Do it. Sell both of these. Yeah. Like, cause we all have that gun for the whole game. It's yeah. an investment. Yeah. That's just the perfect gun. Uh, I also sold all of our missiles, so we could do that. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we'll just save up for uh, more more gunpowder. It'll be worth it. Uh, we were never going to use Intruder Boss anyway. No one likes if, him. If people fucking bored us. <laughs> we can switch BattleBot to defense mode. It'll be fine. Right. Uh, we, can, yeah. we can get rid of the medbay power. Stick it in mind control, maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe it makes sense. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, God, that Zoltan shield just doesn't feel like it's holding up nearly enough. No, we're going to have to get another shield soon. Hang on. Oh shit. Well, open, open the airlocks. Should we run someone to the doors? Yeah. We can also um, open the airlocks to the next room so when he does break through, um, it's sad. Oh, we got him. Oh, oh my god. Wow, that was the thing that we bought. <laughs> sure. Uh. Hey! Oi! Holes, you are dead. Yeah, the ship does have a backup battery by default. We've actually not used that. We've got a button. You can press a button and have power for like 30 seconds. Oh, okay. It feels, I've never bothered buying one of those things. It feels so pointless. Like, just have power or don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it just for it to take up a system. Mm. Like, it's just a weird level of micro. I just don't think it gives enough. It doesn't at all. Uh. Yeah, I think we just have to jump next sector. The 
gathering domain or gathering space? Domain sounds fancier. Domain does sound fancier. Although it didn't take a system slot. Does it not? Oh, okay. Still, I'd rather just have the money. The orchid. Oh, okay. Plant Pack. boys. Supplies? No. No supplies. Uh, cool. Do you want to take the wheel? Oh, yeah. It's my go. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Uh, hmm. Do you want to save positions? Where? Yeah, I'm going to put him in shields. Um... Because we'll always need power and shields, and we might as well get someone leveled up to use shields, right? Sure. Um, I think I... Did I just ignore the guard by accident? Could have got something there. I'll rescue the children. Orchid children? Yeah. Give me the plant! Give me the plantlings. I wish to farm They've them. They've got, like... Is this a fucking robo shit? Oh, auto that, Yeah, it's auto transport. Shit. Okay, well... I guess that means mind control's offline. Well, let's hope he hits the right end of the ship. Does the anti hole one? Because we picked that up. You can power it. This is true. Okay. Does that fire two shots? I think so. And well, hopefully he can knock the shields down. Uh, actually, taking out guns doesn't. Yeah, hurt we'll take out the gun first and then we'll go shields. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, we'll get there in the end. Oof. Uh, yeah, two shots. Nice. Brilliant. That's real good. Okay, they can't even kill us now. Oh, perfect. We can just farm XP now if we really wanted to. Pow, pow. Shields down, Captain. He's put the shots into the piloting now. I was going to stick him into uh, the hull because it's hull laser. But uh, if you just plink the piloting once, then all of our other shots will definitely uh, hit. That's true. Yeah. Nice. And now the next shot will definitely kill them. Very good. Save the children's. It's a tramp sport vessel. Mm. It's uh, evil, doesn't it? It's black with red. That's a means it's a baddie. Uh, and they give us money. Nice. That's great. Uh, you might even be able to upgrade the guns and buy a power, and then you can get charge laser three. Then we'll be the ultimate power in the galaxy. Then we'll be pretty good. We'll pick some flowers. Wait, 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 wait. Surely picking flowers in the orchid realm is bad news. That might have been their kids. Now we have the children. We're the child catchers now, Tom. Monsters, you <laughs> slaughtered our children! <laughs> you had no idea these were young orchids. Too late to go back. So we just rescued some kids, and then we murdered some kids. Yeah, it balances out on the okay. karmic scale. We're, uh, it's, it's fair. Oh, I have to wait for BattleBot to recharge. Oh, uh oh. Um, you could run someone into from shields oh, yeah. into cameras and just start the mind control. Yeah. Good thinking. Wow, they don't give a shit. They just don't care. Okay. Uh, right. You can use BattleBot now, and you can fire the gun. You've got all of the things ready. Oh, now they care. Now their shields are down. I'd care too if my shields were down. Uh, uh, flink the... Yeah, whatever. Oh. Lost him. All right, we'll just okay. wait for the mind control to recharge. Hey. She? Stop that. It's rude. Uh, uh, maybe it's worth uh, shooting the gun. Yeah, I suppose so. Nice. Wow, they're in trouble now. Yeah. What terrible parents. You can't even protect your children. <laughs> we... I blame them. Oh, these ones can't explode. Uh, if you run into the oxygenless room and then shoot it twice, you might be able to kill them with the mind control and we get more resources. Uh, no. No surrender. Oh. Oh, they fixed it. Have they got, like, self-repairing hull? How did that happen? Huh. You might still be able to snipe them if they stay in rooms with systems. Oh, that's true, yeah. Just Okay. Just hope for the best. Just practice our murder. I guess you could run into the... Oh. Oh, that's really annoying. We'll have to send in the bot. 
Uh, yeah. Deploying bot. I think it's worth. Or playing. you could have just waited to mind control them and save the drone part and run them into the gun room and suffocate them. Oh yeah. Although they maybe they make oxygen, so they might not be able to suffocate. Yeah. Oh yeah, they fill the room with oxygen. Well, you can mind control them now and just send them into battle bot. Just see if they, they can suffocate. Oh, you heal them as well with the mind control. Wild. I know you just give you increase their maximum health. Ah, okay. Let let. Huzzah! It might be worth buying some more power. Yeah, we are struggling, especially if we're gonna. We'll need it for the gun, won't we? Yeah, like, and you thirty bucks to upgrade the gun, and you can get the charge laser, and maybe one one more power as well. Yeah. Like, I don't think we're gonna buy anything else. You are right. Uh, we'll just avoid shops for a while then. Yeah, seems real good. Just cruise along. Um, I will help. Uh, do nothing. Now we did. Oh, we'll have to wait till the next one. Uh, what have we got here? A, a slug, a ghost. No, it's a Zoltan. Zoltan uh, could be good to mind control. Yeah. Well, if you run that into like the slug, then all of our shots will hit, and hopefully they come and beat him up, and he might explode. I like all those things. Meanwhile, we'll just charge up the Giga Laser. Well, I did pretty good damage to the slug. Okay, Super Laser. Maybe just upload Here's it into that pile. Yeah, like, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Just murderize all the. Yeah! Oh. Real good. I like that. Oh, we got a Plant Boy. Nice. Hooray! Where should he live? Um, I guess he can fix that for now. Uh, right, well, what do our like lovely display of children's corpses do? Um, corpses of dead orchid children. Although they merely resemble small flowers, you can sell them for scrap at the cost of your soul. Wow, 32 bucks. Pretty good. I mean, we've already done the deed. I don't think feel like selling them's making, making them any deader, is it? <laughs> That's true. Uh, Don't you show might... them to the new guy, though. <laughs> oh, God. Have your orchid. Ah. Up a pod's purpose. Yeah, help us. It's a seedling pod. Um, it contain numerous different things from crew to kernel weapons. Oh, yeah. Just crack Open that it. bad boy. Intruders on board. Oh, fuck. It was full of orchids. Okay, well, we've got an orchid that can kill their orchids. Yeah, we'll have to... Um, battle bot... Oh, wait, mode. you might not even need to do that. If you can just run in and stun them with our monks in the... They make their own air, so I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, but we can make them fight. Oh, each other. that's good. Let them fight, Tom. <laughs> fight in the airless room. Okay, yeah, they do suffocate. Yeah, slowly. Like the air goes off. Oh, wow. The mind-controlled one just brutally murdered the not mind-controlled one. Wow. And well, there we go. That's how you uh, kill the plants. Problem solved. Just lock them in an airlock. Easy peasy. Wow, nice. <clears throat> Take it. Uh, so, uh, uh, Lieutenant King. Um, mm hmm. I need six bucks, you can the king. Thank you. I say, TMB, yeah. I bring paintings, but Ooh. of a different kind. Oh. Um, as I've been trying to get back into drawing, mm -hmm. uh, the first was an idea I had, the second was inspired by a clip of uh, you two on YouTube, the third was inspired by last week's FTL. Ah. Um. <laughs> oh, it's the big Necron Snake Boy. Oh, that guy's cool. I like him. Uh, here, I'll post a picture of that. Very nice. Uh, then there's Skarsnik's Karak. In the style of Takeshi's Castle. Very cool. Two of our favorite things. Big fan. And then Jill the Psychopathic Horse. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking Jill. Um, Very cool. Just running around, screaming, and our green, green mega ghosts. I love that. That's amazing. That's really cool. Very, very cool. Um, 
Uh, we can make a plant a person. Uh, that can be Pazar. Pazar, welcome aboard. Uh, you are in. Uh, was this a shop? Um, no, it was just a station. It wasn't a shop. No, they gave us a kernel missile system. Okay. Which I figured we may as well use. We are nearly out of fuel. Uh, I guess jump. Wait, wait, not that way. Why not? There's more sectors that way. Give yeah, it. We're, uh, that's like a dead end. I don't know if you'll make it to the end. Oh, Do you uh, we'll be fine. Okay. I've never made that mistake before. <laughs> Control who man. Oh, you can kill that medic. Yeah. Nice. Easy, easy pickings. They won't even fight back. Okay, this is good. Like you just charge into the uh, main <laughs> room, then just give them the business. Yeah. Into just everyone. All five barrels at once. Okay. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, oh come on. That's bullshit. That's so. actual bullshit, isn't it? Um, if you get, oh, no, like, plants take mega fire damage. Yeah. Um, just have to vent that, I guess. All you need, though, is just, like, two, two shots into their piloting, and I reckon you can kill them. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> So petty, everyone we're fighting today. Oh, look, we've got two more fuel. That's good. But... Wow, what a messy fight. Okay, we're getting there. Yeah, it's fine. It's nice to not have to rely on the battle bot anymore. Like, he's good to have, but we don't have to use him every time. Yeah, yeah, like, actually, the level 3 mind control is pretty legit. I'm kind of down with that. Mm. Yeah, until they start having med bays. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. But I guess, like, just the charge laser level three is... It's one hell of a gun. Uh, maybe it'll be fine, actually. You know, just had a little... Another uh, kernel. God. Oh, okay. We've got a lot of stuff to sell. Because we can only fit two guns on the ship. So, heavy kernel... Takes two power, 15 seconds, does three damage. Pretty good. This one only requires one power. Fires two shots. Chance of ammo replication, 35% is the other one, how about? 35%. Okay. Yeah. This one's 100% breach chance. That's cool. 45 crew damage. Because suddenly the 100% breach chance. Well, that was like 80%. 80 the Mark 1 feels like it's better. Yeah. Well, what's the warm-up time? 15 seconds. Yeah, I think the Mark 1. Because with two, even, two shots, can that's even a... afford to have them both active now. Wild. If we really want to. We're going to need new shields. Yeah, that's point. the next thing we buy, I think. As we're already taking some hits. Uh, uh, calm the Madman. Oh, yeah, Calm the Madman. Oh, nothing fun happened. Uh, right, so we've got... One, two jumps. Yeah, we can we can go do another distress signal on the way. Oh, look at this. Let's investigate. Yeah. Uh, we can turn the rebels against each other. That's fucking rad. <laughs> Amazing. The commander whips around and blasts one of the other soldiers in the chest. Confused, the rest of the rebels enter a firefight with each other until every single one of them has killed themselves. Amazing. Oh, we get another plant friend. Okay. Okay be a gunner. We don't actually have a gunner. Uh, very good. That can be Deneroth. Deneroth uh, the plant. Uh, explore. Attack. Yeah. Prepare to fight. Let's go. Yeah, just charge laser. Just does all the business. That's all you need really, isn't it? I'm pretty into that. Um, I'm going to hit them in the pilots with one of the kernels. Is it worth it? Like, um, no. I was hoping that that would then mean the, the cannon couldn't miss. Yeah, I think you might just want to shoot the guns out because we're already a little bit hurt. Oh, didn't you, oh you did replicate. That's nice. neat. Yeah, this looks pretty smooth. Pew 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 pew. Wow. 
I'm really glad we sold everything to get this gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, there's a dicey couple of uh, jumps after as we couldn't use it, but now I feel like we're in a great spot. The moment we get like another level of shields, I reckon we're pretty, pretty rad. Well, there we go. Uh, yeah, that looks, off, that looks great. Let me keep the mind control up. Won't need the kernel in every fight. That's just in case we run into something real tough. And Right, then it's on to you. Where do you want to be? Outcasts? Um, Hives? Sure. What? Hives feels like maybe there's more boarding happening. Uh, yeah, but we don't want to get boarded. Yeah, so let's go mm. this way. Well, I guess they can't board with our shields up, and we can mind control. Oh, that's true. People. Mm. Uh... Okay, we still got to name the plant boy. I forgot to do that. Stunner. Nice. Uh, what am I doing? Who are they? Denneroth. Denneroth. Denneroth, the plant. Uh, we do need to go and sell Denneroth's dead children. Yeah, we do. It's, uh, it's what he would have wanted. Mm. Pretty sure. No, no, the son. Uh, sure. Salvage. Hey, we got a rock boy. A fighty rock boy as well. Ooh, that's just what we needed. A big burly bodyguard. Kind of into that. Um, that's Orids. Okay. Just gotta wait. I can't name them yet because we're, we're at maybe the we sun. put um someone on the doors. Like um, we could put a parser on the doors and then. Rockman can live on the cameras. Yeah, that sounds because good. Because if we get boarded, I find abandoning the cameras. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Real good. Hell! We get to. Yarl Phoenix, thank you for donating. They say, Benest Ben and Thomas Tom. I've crawled my way out of the Vod Goblins and may managed to make it to the stream. Unfortunately, the only reason I'm able is that my heart is giving up and I could be dying, confining me to my bed. And I am only in my mid-twenties. Oh my god. Oh, Phoenix. Uh, well, I hope, I hope you're alright. Yeah. Look after yourself. Do what the doctors say. And hopefully you're going to be okay. Yeah. Be strong. Yeah. Good luck. Godspeed. And hopefully you're okay because you're currently handling our shields and they're quite important. Yeah, we need that. We need the shield. Purely up. from a selfish point of view. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Okay. Feels weird to hear something quite serious talked about in the same sentence as the Vodgoblin Goblin pile. Yeah. <laughs> Not where I was expecting that to go. No. Um. Okay, right, we killed one of their boys. Right, can we just plink now? Ow, 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 ow you jerk-offs. Wow, that guns are tough. Uh, are we gonna repair that thing? Probably not. <laughs> nice! Oh, the shields are about to go up. Eat shit. <laughs> Just, you want a med bay? Blammo. Not today. Contact the refugees. Loads of money. Oh, greed is eternal. Nice. Uh, Bazaar is also donated. Bazaar, you're a plant. Thank you very much. You say, hi both. First time donator after watching for a few years. Just saying thank you for the great streams. They've got me back into the hobby. And I've since slowly restarted my ultramarine collection. Very cool. Nice. Um, Enjoy. Very sorry. We've got you back into the hobby. Yeah. I'm Legally, you can't blame us. Mm-hmm. That's the agreement. We literally told you not to. It's true. Uh, do you need to get a load of money from Tony? Oh, yeah. That never goes wrong. It just doesn't go wrong, does it? It's just free money. It is, it is free money. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, Charge laser too. 
<laughs> We've had Charge Laser 1, yes, but what about Charge Laser 2? Okay, well, Tony will definitely buy the corpses of dead children. <laughs> of course he will. Everyone knows that. I guess we sell all these. Don't want you. Feels weird only having two guns. We need to pack the biggest possible guns into those two slots. Charge Laser 2, we could put out so many shots. Like, that volley is Nine. insane. Nine lasers. Um, Doesn't get much better than that. And then a manager? It's kind of like just a crew drone. Provides power. What else does it do? Could get another... Could buy that boy back. Mm. Provides one power. Just crews them at level two. Okay, and it's just like a, an extra crewman that provides a power, which is all right. Does he cost a power to, like, run? I'm guessing. No, it says zero. Oh, zero. So just a crew member that is slightly better than a regular crew member. But if the... Drone bay is taken out. Yeah, then he turns off. We've got a load of cash. I'm making the executive decision. I'm going to buy this. Cool. I think yeah. that works well. And you aren't needed. Because I think now, with pacifists, apart from our ridiculous laser array. <laughs> well, that's how you enforce peace. By yeah. having the bigger gun. Oh, we only needed one of those. Oh, you can undo it. Great. Uh, do need more power, though. Oh, it's because we've got someone stood in the drone bay. That's why. Oh. Messing up our power grid. Okay. Nice. Well, Can we get, like, two more power? Just so we're... Then we've got mind control or boarding drone. Oh, uh, that does make sense. Or do we just want more shields? Let's just buy the shields. Uh, we definitely need some hull. Uh, yeah, hull I was just going to go and... Get some repairs on the boat. That's fuel, but never mind. Something like that? Yeah. I don't think I care about any extra crew. No. Should we get should we see what happens if we upgrade our um Zoltans in the genetic lab? Oh, uh, we have to upgrade the med bay. Oh, okay. I don't know if we need that. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have, does it? If we ever get super boarded, it'd be handy. I want to get the cameras. Oh, okay. It's only 20 bucks. Yeah, we're made of money at the moment. Oh, it's perfect. We can just spend all the cash. Thanks, Tony. I hope you don't want your money back anytime soon. Yep, because we're going to spend it. Uh, right, install onboard lab. Did it. Uh, what does spiritual abandonment do? Oh. Oh, they can fight with half damage. Eh. I don't know if I can. Thorns. Is there range damage? Mm. Do you have like two of we them? We do have two orchids. Mm. I don't know if I can. No. We can still upgrade the lab anyway, can't we? Isn't the lab free now? Because we've got the med bay? Oh, I did that. I bought it and installed oh, it. Oh, I see. I see. Wait, can we upgrade them? Oh, I was going to say they're mind control, but we don't have any money. So, no, we can't. Uh, That probably is a thing. Mind control. Cerebral overcharge. I like how we got a 15%. Okay. Mm. Yeah. What's the other one do? There's another mind control thing. Uh, mind control. Tin foil. Oh, that makes you immune to mind control. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, drone recovery arm. We get our drone back anyway if we don't blow up the ship. Oh, really? Yeah. Very good. It's only when we've um, destroyed the ship that we don't recover it. Uh, cool. Okay. Right. We definitely want to buy shields next. Uh-oh. I reckon we can kill them. Yeah, me too. We've got nine lasers. Yeah. And we don't like slavers. No. Oh. Let's wait till the shields are down. That's all right. They don't take long to charge up those lasers, do they? No, sir. 
Maybe we should buy the upgrade that gives us like 10% faster reload. Probably would make sense. Um, uh, wait, wait till it's full. One more. Well, I don't think it, it doesn't change a lot, but I just want those shields down because then they can right. mind control the mantis. And just start fucking up their yeah, shit. Go kill that slug. Yeah, because they can't mind control him. Hey! Rude! Wait, but these are pacifists, you idiots! <laughs> you dinguses! <laughs> Got him! <'em>. We win! <laughs> well, that's, that's a dead slugman. Ooh, Jax! Do we want Jax? I don't know if we do. I think we we already got a lot of crew. It's another fight man though, like because none of half our guys don't fight. Ben, they're slavers. Yeah, but it's like twenty bucks. Surrender's never an option. They cost like what forty or fifty bucks. I'd rather just get money. Yeah, but we're only gonna get like twenty bucks. I think we'll get twenty-two bucks. <laughs> we might get like a thing. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Eldwind says, oh god, I go away for five minutes and now they have a pacifist chain laser array. <laughs> <laughs> We're pacifists, okay? Yeah, we don't kill anyone. Very peaceful. But the plant on the guns, <laughs> he blow a lot of things up. 37 bucks, Ben. Ooh, it's more than I thought. And some things. Mm. And we couldn't have sold the rock man, because we're not slavers. No, but we did let, we, we let him die. It's, I guess death was preferable. <laughs> to communism. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I think it was fine. Uh, Rockman. Yeah. Oh, your dinguses. Just make them fight. Gotta love a little two-man ship. Yeah, they're cool. Uh, can we just give them the business now? So eager for business. Wow, that's severely reduced their firepower. Yeah, I just thought that we were going to take a bit too much damage. Yeah, fair. And when they've got just such low... No, Brockman are, are criminals and have to die. Uh, you send in the battle bot to finish the job. Because uh, he won't survive another laser barrage. Oh, we could send in the battle bot. You go and hunt him down. Oh. Hmm. We could give you... Oh, fuck it. Just kill them. Hmm. Uh, Deneroth has donated. Thank you so much. And they say, guy holding map, Ben, and guy pointing at it, Tom. This pretty much sums it up. <laughs> yeah. uh, here are new finished bases with complimentary small men on them. Jokes aside, I need help. Warhammer help from true nerd, I mean experts. So please check out my next message. Okay, well, I'm going to look at your models first. Then we shall help you. Uh, Ooh. based. Those models very based. How very based. Are they little deathcore mortar teams? They look great. They look really good. You've got ah, oh, that's me and you, Tom, <laughs> with our maps. <laughs> you're like, where should we shoot? <laughs> I think we should shoot there. Shoot that guy. And you're shot. like, that's us, Tom. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. us. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, they look really good. Yeah, Spencer. pretty cool. Yeah, Lovely I really like that color scheme. I think. Mm -hmm. Very, very neat. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Does the <Yeah. laughs> there's a random picture of a Labrador underneath in the adverts, and it's very cute. Warning, social dog. Oh, I was looking at the rhino. <laughs> oh, he's pretty cute too. Uh, yeah, very cool. Very nice toys. Right, part two. Um, I'm currently converting a cursed city dude as an Imperial Navy man of the IG Old Nerd Trio, the Blackstone Navigator, from before being the Astropath. Any suggestions for a GW model as the third artillery nerd, Kremlo Kane? OK. 
Okay, let's have a look. So yeah, you've got the Navigator, who's a great model, and you've painted very nicely. Looks amazing. Very based. Um, and then you've got the uh, like the Rogue Trader swashbuckle guy. Super cool. Um, is that going to be the fleet officer, I guess? And then what, what's the role you need? Artillery man. So, um, you know the regimental attaches? Oh, That's the one that calls in the ordnance. Yeah. Um, he just looks like a like a guy with a radio, you know, like an officer with a with a vox. Um, I of the three original models, the artillery guy's the worst one. He's the most boring. The artillery guy, like the astropath, looks cool. The like fancy navy guy looks cool. What other miniatures would make a good? I guess like literally anyone on a radio would work, but you probably want them to look a little fancier than that. Could you like this is getting more complicado mm -hmm. and it doesn't actually solve the problem. Right. But find a cool, cool dude, but give him the Gene Stealer Nexus like little table. Oh yes. For like that's where I want my artillery. Because yes. I think that'll really help them to like stand you out. Could literally just buy the Gene Stealer Cult Nexus model and give him a head swap. Give him like an officer's head from a command squad. Yeah, although he does, is quite gene stealer y, right? But if you paint him up differently, I think that would probably work. Nexos. Like he's got that armor. Um, yeah. I think with a different paint job, it wouldn't look. Because it's still imperial clothing, right? And he's holding like a cool telephone. If you wanted to, you could um, you could fill in the ribbed um, shin guards and smooth yeah. them off. Yeah. With just a little bit of um, putty or filler or something like that. Literally a li little bit of polyfiller on the feet. But yeah, I think if you... Because if it's for the Death Corps of Krieg, like something if you actually gave it a Death Corp... Yeah, like a gas mask head. Gas mask head, I think mm. would help a lot. Mm. And like that could be a really cool... Um, cool vibe. I think that'd be a really like nice way to identify like that's the person who does the airstrikes. He's yeah. got a radio. Yeah. The map is great. And well, it helps that it's just an awesome model. Really nice model. And I think it's even got an eagle on it, hasn't it, the map? Because it's old Imperial yeah. Park that they've stolen. I think it fits perfectly. Yeah, the tattered robe's not ideal, but I think if you paint it up as like, you know, the colours it would be for an Imperial Guard and then like weather it at the bottom where it's been ripped and Yeah, stuff. yeah. So it doesn't look like a cultist rag, it looks like a like a ruined Jacket or uniform. Yeah, exactly. Be absolutely fine. Yeah, bam. That's my vote. Yeah, me too. I mean, any excuse to use that model. He's really cool. Yeah. Wow, it takes a long time for their lockdown ability to come online. Wow. Like it's. They are tough, aren't they? Will they be so tough when I give them the business? All nine businesses. Uh, Should we just go for that room and murder everyone? Or do we just blast the... Just knock out the guns or the shields? Because we're about to... Targets. Take some shots. But giving them the business would be funny. No, we do it. <laughs> oh! I forgot about Crystal ow, Revenge. Ow. Oh, nice. Close. Well, Zoltan Shield really helped with that. Oh, they froze me in the room. <laughs> Fine. Okay. You're trapped in here with me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it wore off. Uh, right. Well. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so many guns. It's so many lasers. That was overkill. Ooh. Shields. Shields Ooh. fine. Uh, Might be time to put another shield one, on in a minute. Two. Mm. Orids has donated as well. Thank you, Orids. Thank you, Orids. And they say, hey, Empire Captain Tom and Little Green Monkey, which comes with Empire Handgunners Ven. <laughs> <laughs> Just got into Age of Sigmar, and I'm hoping to have my first game soon. Nice. 
I'm a little disappointed, though, as I've just built a very diver's Cities of Sigma army, but now cannot use it. Love you lots. Uh, like a diverse? Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah, maybe you mean diverse. So, oh, what, like you've got some dwarves and elves and humans and stuff in it. Are they not letting you use any of that stuff anymore? Is the new book, like, only new models allowed? Oh. Because that's sucks. a dick move, because they've been selling, like, high elf and dark elf miniatures of Cities of Sigma. For yeah, years. for ages. Hmm. Oh, got him just with one hit oh, point. Oh, perfectly efficient. Ignore his cries. <laughs> nice. That was a pitiful um, fucking bribe as well. Yeah, super lame. You got to bribe me way harder. One want, missile. Want to try and live. Yeah, if that's what they've done, that sucks. Hopefully the new book does have some, some rules in it. Oh, wow. You didn't take long, Tony. That was not... It was like five minutes ago we borrowed that money. If we kill him, right. We won't kill him. We might kill him. Have you seen how many guns he's got? He's got four flak cannons and two bombs. We've tried it. We tried it before. Do you not remember? I know we've got a lot of guns, but we are so low on shields and dodge. Like we have no defensive profile at all. We would have to alpha strike his flak cannons down immediately. Are you ready for borders? They can't board us yet, and we no. can do a mind control on them. That's true. They can't even mind control us because um, through the Zoltan. If we don't cripple them in the first 15 seconds... We don't. We don't cripple them in the first 15 seconds. Then I think we lose. Can we try? And if you fight, what? can we just like Alt F4 and then load it and continue the run? Oh, we could try. Does that work? Maybe. Could do it. You, you just want the big loot. I I just think that we might like unlock that as a ship or something. Oh, okay. And then we then we're Tony. <laughs> I want to be Tony. And giving out loans. Okay. Yeah, we'll save Scum it. Can this we is, save Scum? This is for science. He's come way too quickly. You literally just lent us that money. Like with this same sector. Cause Yeah. I wasn't playing when it happened. It's bullshit. It's like the bank ringing you up a week later saying, pay your mortgage. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, like, kind of dumb. Kind of Continue you. just before death again. What does it save literally every second? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like we die. I feel like we probably die. But there's that little chance. There's a little chance. Uh, fight. Fighting him's the fun thing to do, right? Also, it's late, so not the end of the world if we die. <laughs> what would you rather? Because I feel like this, this ship could go all the way to the end. Yeah, I, I, I actually already think... I think we've already won the game at this point. <laughs> yeah. Having nine lasers in Sector 3 is insane. Um... LT Kings are running the engines and he says we fight. <laughs> Let's give it all we got. Are you sure? Because I feel like you've co convinced me to pay. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, let's say we fire nine lasers. Let's say two of them miss, four of them hit the shields. We actually only get two lasers. Into his guns, I guess, is what we have to go for. Mm. Um, we mind control a guy. He has they like eight fuck guys. A bit. We probably turn one of his guns offline. He shoots us. We survive it because of the Zoltan shield. Um, then I guess we get a second volley off. We get boarded. Then we get boarded <laughs> we and get things get real bad. We could switch the drone to defensive mode. We don't have enough power for it don't and really the mind control. The power. But maybe our mind control's cooled down by then and we mind control the boarding party. And we got two, Oh, we don't have two rock mine. We only got one. They have mind control. They do, yeah. But they can't use it till the Zoltan shield's down. Yeah. Use the backup battery. Oh, that's oh, true. Yeah, that's we can true. use the backup battery to turn on the battle bot for defensive action. Or do we board with the battle bot? Uh, it increases our alpha strike. 
Battlebot plus mind control is actually a combo. I'm very curious for science. You can choose on your head be it. I, I think we die, but I do think there's like a I like think a ten percent chance I think we squeak we, through I'm it. I'm pretty sure we die. Okay. We're I, doing it, we're doing it. Because of if this was if we still had two hours of stream left, I wouldn't want to do it. But since we're probably gonna finish it half an hour anyway. Sure. Let's do it. Let's fight. All right, pause immediately, and let's think this through. Uh, don't need any of this. Toggle the equipment. I, should we send the drone in? I think we'd send it in. I'm fine to send it in. Okay. All right, do nothing. We can't even jump away. He's got like a jump jammer. All right, uh, so we have to turn on the battery. And then we can take med bay power out. Um, do we mind control the guys who are going to board us? What or the we guys can in weapons? Do is wait until we've got the the guns powered up. Mind control the pilot, and then all of our shots will hit. True. Feels like a, that's a long time not using it. Or we just mind control someone in there and just. If we mind control someone in the weapons, the weapons will charge slightly slower. True. And then there'll be more people in there when we blast them. Okay. Sure. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh god, those guns charge really fast. Why are they charging so quickly? Do you have a drain? Oh, he's got mega doors. About to fucking explode. I might just need to stop firing now. Yep, do it. Ooh, okay, two of them are off. That's half of his flax. Not a bad start. That is a good start. Uh, right, I yeah, need you more repairo. Oh, God. Okay, uh... Open the open the bulkheads. Best venting. Wait, is that room is better. Yeah. There's another airlock you can open in that room too, just to speed it up a bit. Uh, nice. Um. Oh, he just bombed his own fucking guys. Be mind controlled. Oh, LT King. Our engine guy is now gonna suffocate. Battlebots offline. They hit the drone control. That's fine. Battle Boy is not the most important boy. Yeah. Guns are more important. Oh, that's okay. bad. Okay, guns are fully charged. <laughs> okay, in a minute, we can... Um... Yes! One gun left. That gun, that, and, but it's, it's super on fire. We, With... LT King can run. Try and run to the med bay. They're out of mind control now. Oh. oh, okay. Hang on. Look, LT King said they wanted to fight. That's true. They went, you asked for this. They fought well. Um, I love that their guns are on fire, though. That is oh, perfect. Oh, fucks. Oh, super duper bad. Oh, shit. Oh. Left the door. It's okay. We win that fight now. Well. Oh, no. Only one's there to fight. Mind control? Oh, do we mind control their boy? I think now that their guns are fucked, I don't think we need to worry about their crew. They're gonna, they're sending another wave in. Oh god! I've, oh yeah, because they um, I forgot they've got a clone bay. What if we do that pulse? Oh, stuns our guy too. <laughs> well, <laughs> see ya. Uh, we may as well send him to med bay. He's low health and he's not doing anything else. Oh god. Oh, put him on the doors. <laughs> Someone on the doors. Oh, they're mic controlling our gunner. That fucking sucks. Just as he was about to repair oh, his Oh, fuck. And they are really wave assaulting. Okay. Can we repair the drone bay and get BattleBot back online? Is that worth it, do you think? It. That's a... 
tough thing. I think I'm going to play Funny Doors. I think that's the only way I can do it. We've got to get that gun back online to have any hope here. Uh, yeah. Hmm. They're going to suffocate. I need to interfere with the gun. Oh, we can actually... You oh. could stun him. Yeah. Who's that? Katsavolthar? Yeah, give him a mind bullet. Here. Calm down. <laughs> Stop fighting. He could even just go in and repair guns, actually. Do we give them the gun business? We've only got five shots. He's got four shields. I think we have to wait for second gun. Well, that's going to take so it's, long. We may take... as well fire it and just yeah. hope one of them gets through. Maybe we go for the clone bay if we're only going to get one through. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, oh just as a rock guy came out. Typical. <laughs> How come he went through my door? Are you allowed to do that? That door just held open. Oh, oh nice. Oh. How about we open every door from the pilot room back? So when the next wave comes... Wait, we... Not every door. We just want to make sure... Oh, that just everything's vented, but there's still barriers every step of the way. Yeah. Yeah. I need as many doors... Okay, right. Plant versus worm. Right, they're not boarding yet. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, they've busted that door. Oh, fuck it. Send in rock guy? Suffocate the worm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the guns can recharge now. We can power the guns. Okay. I think we just give them a little bit of the business. We what probably need to start hitting shields, don't we? Oh, God. Nice! That's amazing! <sighs> Choke that worm, Tom. Yeah. He's choking! Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Okay, let's get our pilot off the guns. Oh, can he do another stun attack? Oh, yeah, no, that's even better. Just un, un mind control him. Let's do that. Uh, right, give them the business. All the guns are ready. Oh, it's okay. working. It's working. Oh, should we mind control a uh, rock guy so they yeah, don't put out the fire? I just, I think that's better. Oh, they're repairing pretty fast in there. Okay. I think actually we're going to have can. to fire before the guns break. Oh, they actually had a pilot back. Yeah, they've got a really good clone bay. It's, it's healing their guys very quickly. Okay, guns are fully charged. Ah, oh, you can keep your stinking money. I don't think we let him go. No, not after coming all this way. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> You. <laughs> Ooh, pimped out cruiser. <laughs> you were right. We do get a ship. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Right, a bit of a mess. Only took uh, about half Only damage. half our damage. Man, that was amazing. The power of nine. <laughs> it's, those fucking lasers are very strong. Very um, strong indeed. Okay, Lieutenant King did die. That's true. That that's that's not the one, is it? But we probably need to rejig our crew now. Yeah. Uh, right. It's gonna take a bit of fixing. Whew. Oh, well done, though, man. Good job. Um, I feel like it was just the power of charge lasers. More than uh, more than anything. Mind control helped. Yeah, the mind control did a lot of work. And they, for us. the level three doors really helped a lot too. So we didn't have to fight. 
yeah, much of their being able to parties. just suffocate everyone. Mm. God, worked pretty nicely. Oh, wait, why am I leaving? Yeah, plant guys are good for fixing holes, though, because they don't need to breathe. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, we did use the backup battery for the first time. Only once, though, because it was the first system to get crippled. In the yeah, game. it was then, like, <laughs> fuck it. Uh, right, you can go back to... Oh, well, I guess oh, everyone needs a bit of a heal, heal anyway, don't yeah. they? Um, can we check what the... We got a busted ATM as, like, an augment. Oh, yeah. What was that? That's not... Um, two scrap every time you make a jump. Okay. So it's going to yeah, give us, like, we'll 20 make... per sector or something? Okay, I kind of kind of like that. Free money, I guess. Free money is the best money. Well, I actually need to pee. I will be right back. Pee, man. Pee. Uh, Lieutenant King, thank you so much for your noble sacrifice. You did amazingly well. Um, what a hero. You are the best of us. Uh... Right. We don't actually need you in piloting. We kind of want you in engines, Cats of Ulthar, even though you're a great pilot. Because we get the extra power. Although we're kind of pretty good on power. Fuck it, I think I might just leave you there. Uh, we need someone doors. What a dinner off. Dinner off, you're going to be back on guns. <clears throat> you're already working on next week's drawing. Amazing. Cannot wait. Uh, I hope it's of you making your noble sacrifice. Uh, holding holding people up while everyone suffocates. Uh, engines, maybe? Something like that. Feels like I should pull Cats of Ulthar out, but they're so good. Like, they give us literally like 10% extra dodge, which is kind of legit. Uh, we've got money. Wait, where are we going? Oh, that was literally the last sector. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna force Ben's hand and make him take the power. Cause three shields, it's pretty good. It's pretty legit. Uh. Okay, I spent all of our saved cash. Ooh, what on? Uh, just to give us three shields. Mm, fair. Um, Amazing. Next sector. Monk Refuge. <gasps> That's where we live. That's where we live. <laughs> Are they going to like us? <laughs> where they're like, peaceful brothers, welcome. <laughs> Wait a second, what are those things? <laughs> yeah. What are those things on the side of your ship? Peace beams. <laughs> peace beams. Okay. <laughs> we come in peace. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> um, oh, a hiding place for the devoted Zotan monks. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, these guys must fucking love us, right? Yeah, we're the best. Monk music unlocked. Uh, Automated ship. Um, <laughs> we can't just attack it on site. Just can instantly. We? No, we've got to be friendly with these guys. Okay. Um, uh, should we try the ritual since we've got damaged hull? Meditate very briefly. Sure. Get a free hull point. We can do that every jump. Oh. The great eye. Oh, we've got to do that. Think about all the soup they might have there. Mm. Well, now we're in the nebula. We could do more meditating because their jumps get slowed down. Very true. Um, unarmed, seeking asylum. Um, okay. Do, do, nothing. do nothing. They've got mics dropped. Hey, they're not unarmed. They're lying. Fine, right. Uh, give them oh, the we... peace, the peace treaties. <laughs> Charging peace treaties now, Captain. <laughs> um. Uh, so I'll I'll leave it to your discretion. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! No mind control. Oh, um, but uh, Cats of Ulthar is our pilot, mm -hmm. but they don't actually generate power. But yeah. because they're maxed out of piloting, it just gives us a hard ten percent, which we need. Which doubles our dodge, especially now we've lost our engine experience. Mm. 
Yeah. All right, there you go. You got your wish. You're unarmed now, mm -hmm. dickheads. Wow, Battlebot's not doing terribly. He's all right. He might. No, no, he's he will. No, he's not quite going to make it. Don't worry. Give them extra peace. <laughs> so much peace. We saved Battlebot. Hooray! <laughs> wow, good job with very precise sniping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one hull left as well. Wow. Good job. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. We even saved the Rubert. The Great Eye. Uh, That's got to be good. There's got to be something cool here. Wow. You've discovered the Great Eye. The location was named after a giant eye-shaped nebula in the distance. Uh, the real attraction is the massive cuboid monolith with green lights. Uh, it's visited by tourists and by Zoltan. It's okay. an annual pilgrimage. Uh, pray to the eye. Yeah. Hey. Uh-oh. The eye is how you get the crystal ship, isn't it? Is it? In the it's the hidden quest to unlock it. You have to do a real precise chain of events, and you have to go, like, go yeah. through the eye. It takes you to crystal space, I think, because it's like a wormhole. Something like that. Oh, they're firing um, lasers at both. Firing at us and the enemy. There's an ABS here as well. Um, drones. Well, you can mind control oh, them. Mind control them, yeah. Um. Oof. I don't like that. I oh, were dodging quite a lot. 25% is not bad. Yeah. Should uh, level this up some more. Uh, just cripple their piloting. Because this I want to like level our dodging a bit more if we can. Too, not too bad. Oh, God. Well, I was thinking it would make the ABS hit them more, but... Um, I think you need to take out the drone bay. Well, let's kill them. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to have to jump before we fix the O2. Uh, Fortunately. You could maybe put some engine plant in there. Okay, well, the Great Eye wasn't as good as it was been. I was hoping for more there, I have to admit. I don't think um, we prayed properly. No, let's hear this guy out. Yeah, he has no weapons, weapons or shielding. Hear them out, sure. Sure, tell me more. Oh, yeah, you can take off. Yeah, catch you later, TJ. Uh, he talks about peace and harmony. Is that it, a quest marker? Nice. Okay. Peace. Peace. I love peace. Uh, fuel <laughs> is a bit of a problem there. Oh, yikes. Okay. It's been a while since... We could really do some kind of peace shop. Yeah, where we could trade in all our peace mm -hmm. for weapons. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're ever going to get any better weapons than what we've got now, though. No, like if we can upgrade to another charge laser Mark III. Yeah, that'd I'll be take that. Great. Or uh, a um, whatever that big minigun's called, the Vulcan. I don't think the Vulcan's as good. It's pretty good against the end boss because. The fight is so long. Oh, yeah. It doesn't take like you long to get to the point where it's like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. But yeah, against regular ships, you can kill them before it gets any good. Uh, hail. Temple. Monk. Monk, monk chat. Ooh, seven hull points repaired. That's really kind. But have you got any fuel <laughs> instead, yeah, fuel please? Fuel brothers. Right, right. Uh-oh. We might need... Smugglers. Uh, well, uh, hopefully they're oh smuggling shit. fuel. They, uh, their FTL is charging. So we need to cripple that engine immediately. Uh, if you mind control a, a pilot. Yeah, we got to. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, no, no, the pilot's down there. Whoops. Oh, well, whoever comes to fight Battlebot is going to get mind controlled. Oop. And then we go get the pilot with him. Yeah. Kick his ass. Uh, you can oh, fire no one there. What? Okay. Okay, guns are probably going to need to be blasted soon. Yeah, we'll get him on the next volley. Uh, yes. I think... 
Nice. Perfect. Battlebot was sadly destroyed. Okay, well, if they killed our Battlebot, then I think we can kill them. That's true. They don't respect. Mm. Shameful. You don't respect our Battlebot. We don't respect your life. Nice. Oof. Blammo. Got a fuel? Oh. Okay, and a quest marker. Uh, they were going to smuggle something for a client, and we get to go there. <gasps> shop. Shop. Sultan shop. Nice. Do they sell guns? Hmm. Would they sell a gun? Peaceful. Uh, respond. The monks. Monk crew. Monk crew. Ah, oh, they gave us another monk. A really shooty monk. <laughs> I will not fight, apart from with gun. Mm -hmm, only gun. Uh, I will take I think, Yeah, seven. it's probably worth it. Seven hull is bad. And then we'll buy all their fuel. Yeah. Oh, man, that just like... Oh, an engine monk. We don't have an engine skill. Not bad. Can, like, max out our entire crew. Uh, cloaking is good, but we can't afford it. We can sell the skimmit. Yeah, we're never going to use it. Um, still can't afford the cloaking. We could sell the ATM. Uh, I think it's worth because we're still so early in. Mm. That will give us like a hundred bucks by the end. We'll get cloaking again later, won't yeah, we? Yeah, like that. Appears. We don't need it now. I only want it for the end. Yeah. Defense drone could be good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, for the sweet fancy. What's the difference between a guard? Anti-missile. It reloads faster. No, slower. And it flies slower. Hmm. I think defense drone's better. That targets all projectiles. That only targets solid. So that does that shoot down like lasers? Yeah. God can't stop lasers. Yeah, like yeah, by the defense one. That seems pretty good. I am tempted by the engine, boy. It's another 5% dodge and an extra energy. Uh, but we've got six crew. Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, you're in charge. You choose. Okay. So, get yeah, you on engines. Oh, he had already got half. Oh, wow. Turns out we're on fire. <laughs> um, Shit, God, that's like a real, real problem when uh, <laughs> you're in a nebula. Yeah, <laughs> just mystery fire. Oh, and Julian can go on guns as well. The other, the person that just joined us, are they better than our gun plant? Yeah, they're they are better. actually. Yeah, gun plant, get out of it. Well, that's good because then the gun, the plant can run off and um, yeah. Like I'm actually going to put plant on doors and then Rockman. It's going to go like more central. Rockman. Yeah, if Rockman just hangs out like by the drones or something. Yeah, because then if anyone goes into engines or shields, Rockman's there. Yeah. Um, plant can be response as well. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that works. Now we've got two extra power, which is great. How much is a power? 30. Okay. Go to the quest. Uh, quest. Well, one yeah. more power, and we can keep everything powered all the time. Then I guess we just sink everything into engines after that. Um, the monk's very unusual. Hmm, let's talk to them more. Oh, damn, it's the feds. Prepare the guns, men. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretending to be monks. <laughs> Impersonating a monk is a crime. How dare you? Uh, let's get that defense drone up. See how sure. it is. Boop. Fuck you. Nice. It's going to keep the Zoltan shield up for way longer. Uh, you may as well just plink, because then you can maybe get a mind control in. Oh, wait, no, you can't, because you can't see them. Beep, 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 nice. Nice. Defense drone. Kind of pulling its weight. Mm. I guess if we sent in the boarding drone, we'd get vision and could mind control. Mm. But... We're literally taking no damage like this, so I'm fine with it. Very cool. 
we are maxed out on engines now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Shield guy's not doing so good. I guess because the Zoltan shields absorb so much. Mm. Uh, and it's going to be even less now, but we've yeah, got the fence. Yeah, the fence drone too. Uh, nope. Give me money. Only money. Oh, it's not, not that much more. Very cool. Mm. Uh, peace. All right, I'm just going to uh, quickly hit that because now everything's powered. Amazing. Feels good. Okay, I want peace. Hey. Uh, hail. Uh, can we try and talk them out of being rebels? I'm saying, let's do it without war. Our ideals are too different. Could this end in any way but war? Uh, true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Uh, the galaxy is huge. There's place for everything. No! Okay, well. All right. There's probably a, a way to get there. Uh, but, but we tried. We tried peace. We did try peace. We gave peace a chance. Now we shall give Battlebot a chance. And see which is stronger. Battlebot comes in peace! <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, oh, wait, where were we boarded? Uh, don't know. Let's blow all their guns up. Oh, they hacked us. Oh, they're uh, punching the O2. Uh, Actually, you can open the doors up in O2. Yeah, that's probably enough. Assholes. Well... If you wanted to breathe, you should have thought of uh, not breaking the O2. Yeah, you idiots. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to go break your O2. Nice. Yeah, you like that. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Uh, wait, before you charge those people in, stun their guys. Yeah, Jarl Phoenix, pulse their brains out. Now. Oh, we, now we have to bust our own doors down because the hacker. Heck. <laughs> Oh, wow, Battlebot is... Oh, they pulled back. Yeah. Uh, let's just get Planty in could there. Could give a little plink into the guns and then send Battlebot in to... That's make true. Sure they don't ever shoot us again. Nice. Nice! Woo! Boarding objective successful! I think we got achieved for winning with Battlebot. I love it. Uh, the now empty rebel ship fades away to reveal a Zoltan fleet were watching you. This was a test. You failed. We had to talk them down. Yeah, oh, fuck. We fucked it up. We did try, though. Fine. They chose... They chose war. We offered peace. Yeah, I guess, like, we had to peace harder. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, I think you can. You don't really want a store. You meant to make them surrender. Well... I can't... They didn't offer. So, what can you do? Uh, laser vendor. Could get another charge three. Uh, those aren't lasers. Wah. They've been lied to. Wah. Oh, there they are. Eh. Wah. Uh... What's the deconstructor? Oh. You can turn drone parts and missiles into scrap. That could be good. Selling missiles because we're never going to use them. But, but we don't have anything to sell. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Can't afford it. I think it's fine. Oh well. Um, how many jumps we got? One, two, three. So we go here. Nice. Hmm. Very good. <clears throat> uh, Patton. Uh, donates five bucks. Thank you, Patton. And they say, Howard Hughes, Tom, and Hugh Hefner, Ben. <gasps> Derenoth has left. But Why? We, got, we did get two extra reactor. Um, 
It's because we, it's because we fired Darren off from working their regular job. <laughs> they were in the engines or on the guns, and well, just... he didn't like that we sold his children's corpses. Oh, uh, I think maybe they just found out about. <laughs> yeah. How did we afford all of this? <laughs> yeah. And one of the guys was like, "Oh, do you not remember we, we killed all those plant children <laughs> and we sold the bodies?" It's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> when did this happen? <laughs> How did I not know about this this whole time? Uh, oh, shit. Holy shit. Okay, well, fine. Um, Fair enough. Well, yeah. More shame. I mean, we we did demote him to doorman. <laughs> so. That kind of yeah. sucks. Um, um, what's that times? Uh, but yeah, uh, Patton says... Uh, you can pick which 40k faction the other is stuck in. Ooh. The catch is, whoever has the worst time gets to leave after a year, oh. uh, while the other is stuck in the grim future. What do you choose? Um, I don't know if you survive a year in the kind of situations I'm, we're putting each other in. Okay. Uh, which faction to stick you in? Mm. Are you then in that faction? Are you one of those people? I guess you have to be one of them, because otherwise you'd just get murdered instantly, right? Yeah. Um, hmm. Who has the worst time? Dark Eldar's pretty fucking shit, because you either torture people to alleviate your suffering, or... Sounds pretty good. You get endless suffering yourself. You kind of, kind of fucked either way. Yeah, but you know, you get to go to, you know, horrible homunculus IKEA and get like, <laughs> yeah. oh sweet, like meat chair. <laughs> oh, it used to be like three dudes. <laughs> sweet. Right. So just novelty alone. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know you could have a bit of fun. Pretty good. Um, I bet there's some like really cool like CD, uh, you know. Mm. Okay. Places I, to go and drink. I've just, just realized. I obviously put you in the Harlequins. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it's like the opposite of the Dark Eldar. Oh, God. <laughs> Nothing fun. Best case scenario, you get to guard the Black Library. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you have to go craft world to craft world doing performative dance for elves. <laughs> it's just fucking hell. <laughs> uh, that would be my personal hell. <laughs> Uh, fine. <laughs> I'm putting you in the Harlequins as well. <laughs> no! But you're going to have a worse time in the Harlequins yeah, than I but <laughs> at least, if you're there, I can laugh at you in your... My leotard. Your leotard. <laughs> and I can, you know, as we do our stupid fucking Cirque du Soleil <laughs> <laughs> elf shit. Okay, but... I get to be on top of the pyramid. <laughs> you have to hold me up because you're taller than I am. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fine. We'll do it. Um, uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, right. But because I have a worse time, I get to leave after a year, whereas you're oh, stuck. Wow. But I won't actually hate being a space elf. I'll just go hang out in the Black Library and read all the books. Mm -mm. No. One day. You have to do interpretive dance yeah, but, every you know, day. They, the whole thing about the Elder is they never never do the same thing for too long. You've got to move move your path. Uh, it's craft worlds. Yeah, whereas Harlequins, you know, just caper around. <laughs> <laughs> Practice your magic. Okay, yeah. uh, <laughs> It's definitely, I think that might be the best place for me to be in 40k. Le definitely the least likely to die, or end up as like a servitor. Yeah, I'm on board with this. Being a harlequin. Mm -hmm. But I guess if I was a harlequin, I'd actually be all agile and probably enthusiastic about stuff. So well, maybe I'd get I think you get the same personality. You're just physically a harlequin, right? But they just want like entertainment, right? You know? No, they want they, it's how they how they watch telly, right? It's not just it's like history and um, morals and legends. Yeah, but could we just be the Tom and Ben doing this of Harlequins? Oh, okay, yes. It's just us wearing like sad clown mask. <laughs> 
with with tears. With our own dumb interpretations of Eldar history. Yeah, yeah, we do this bit because, you know, some of the Eldar are going to get into that, right? Yeah, stands to reason. Nice. Uh. <laughs> Didn't kill them. Uh, where are we? Next oh, wait, the exit. Uh, Perfect. Uh, Harmony or Gathering Shire? Don't really know what either of those are. Okay, let's go to the Shire. Sure. Ooh, new mm. cruiser. Yeah, we can be like, um, you know, we can tell human stories, but we'll tell one is true and one is false, and everyone has to, like, you know, which one of these dumb stories of human history is oh, true? Oh, okay. Which yeah. is false. The Eldar will love that because they'll be like, humans are so dumb. <laughs> Stupid monkey. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. Oh, I love it. There's an alternate universe out there somewhere with Tom and Ben performing Yule Hammer or Lore Hammer for Eldar. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Great eggs, two legged meat sacks. We were looking for such fine specimens for a century. You are truly the ugliest human in the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have humans. No. Uh, monks. We've got hunky monks. Right. Kill them. Oh, they're fucking slugs. Um, Can't mind control them. Oh, well. Just use the power of nine lasers. We'll just use the power of lasers. <laughs> I hope this whole place isn't slugs. Slugs gonna suck. Show them the ways of peace. Mm. Would you like to see my peace cannons? <laughs> oh, a little fire. Oh, perfect. That's how you kill a slug. You burn them. Chase that boy down. Ow. Ow! That's how we steer the ship, you assholes. We actually missed a lot. Oh, Battlebot died. Boo. That's super Show them the peace of the grave. Okay. Well, we squelched some of them. Hey. Ow. That's my ship. That wasn't even them that did that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're gonna... Uh, we could Do give them another battle bot, but we could just kill them. Yeah, the, well, the longer we stay here, the more ABS we're gonna take. Yeah, which I don't super, super love. Although he's burning. Oh, they've only got three hull, though. Fuck it. Um, uh, except surrender. Patton has donated. Oh. Thank you, Patton. And they say, Howard Hughes, Tom, and Hugh Hefner, Ben. Oh, that was one I just read. You're right, you did. Uh, Leona Frosty, thank you for donating. They say, Bon and Tim, here's a few pearls from the pile. I've been so busy at work with my new promotion that I haven't had time to catch you live. What the heck? Even on my days off, I'm very busy. Here's my current printing project. Kremlo in Space Jam. <sighs> Do you think there was a Kremlo reference in Space Jam? Oh, definitely. Because they crammed yeah, yeah. basically everything else in, didn't they? Oh my god, well, congratulations on your promotion, but also, congratulations on your insane project of painting Howling Griffins. I love it. Holy shit. Always a big fan. Coming along really nicely. Of the Howling Griffins. Very neat as well. Yeah, like looking <laughs> looking great. It's a damn straight line you got going like, on there. What the hell though? That is a Oof. That's a lot of work. That is a that's how you go insane. Very cool. Thank you. Uh fuck it. Put on the board. Wee. They move like comically slowly. Yeah, they? why are they so slow? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mush Mash Mush, for donating. You say, Dave and Jack, 
What are the chances of a tabletop RPG night this year during Jingle Jam? Also, cringiest game shop experience? Um... I think there's a pretty high chance of some tabletop RPG even before Jingle Jam. Right? Maybe. I'll never tell. No, don't tell them, Tom. Uh, we're in the fun. Oh, there's too many lasers. Uh, signal dilator. Sure. Oh, oh, repair plant. Oh, just no one tell them about the kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, brown cloth. Uh, brown cloth. Mm -hmm. We can name you as you repair. Do we rename Maxim? No. No, he was new and we forgot. Oh, yeah, because um, something was going on. Yeah. Who's this? Uh, Hegbert. Uh, nice. Okay. Well, one's on doors, one's on... Peepin. Peepin. Peepin and anti-peepin. Uh... Yeah, shop. We've got enough money to buy a cloak now. Ooh. Um, volunteer to stand guard. Oh. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that's just free money. Oh, no, it wasn't free, Tom. Wait, we can still shop. Yeah. Mid fight. Kind of interesting. Uh, fire flag. Oh, wow. That's kind of a cool that idea. It is cool. Uh, cloaking? Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to want anything else. Should we sell the signal diluter? I'm assuming it's shit. Uh, can be used to prevent guards from calling ASB backup. Disable enemy attack satellites. Okay. I think it's fine for now. Yeah, why not? So at like, the end, I guess. We're desperate for the cash. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of fixomatosis and... A tiny bit more fuel. Hey, well, <laughs> two can play that game. We can do it as well. Just not as good, but oh, you're pretty much as good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, right, have a battle bot. Um, wow, they got a lot of boys. They've got a lot of boys, but they don't have a heal. Oh yeah, true. Oh, well, I'm gonna get missiled. Nice. Fight room. Oh, shit, actually, let's just bring everyone in there. Uh, Hegbert's donated and says, Dear Tom and Ben, oh. I was at Gen Con a couple of weeks ago and I entered the mini painting competition and won a bronze award. Very cool. Congratulations. Well done. Also, I saw some interesting dice, including some that were scented. Scented dice. The rep said that Necromancer was next. What are these ones? Oh. Oh, wow. Painted a Mando. He looks super duper cool. Oh my god, like the eyes on um, Glurp Shitu look amazing. <laughs> yeah, you've done a nice job there. Very cool. Uh, smelly bones. Smelly bones? Dice that smell dope. They've got cleansed linen, ancient forest, campfire, leather, pipe smoke, and necromancer. I don't know if I want to encourage people to be sat there like <laughs> sniffing their dice. Like fucking war gamers and role players got a bad enough rep already. It's true. It's just going to make us look weirder than we already are. Like, <laughs> mm, smells like an adventure. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know if I'm into that. Oh, they look good, though. Quite nice dice. Yeah, they're very pretty. Uh, hey. Oh, yeah, someone else, they asked us about cringiest game shop experience. I can't, I'm just sure I've had tons, but I can't remember them. I just kind of... Bl I think if I dwelled on those kind of things, I'd never go back to a game shop again, so I just kind of... Erase my memory shortly after they happen. Uh, um, 
I remember being in a games workshop and uh, like years and years ago and uh, one of the guys was there and his girlfriend came in wearing a bikini like what, just a, a bikini. just a bikini okay and oh my god did the whole was it like when a stranger was, walks into like a local pub and like the music stops yeah everyone the, turns their heads super fucking weird um because <laughs> it was like because uh, like she played like a bit of a bit of like war gaming as well mm -hmm. um and uh but like was like stayed there for like the games night Oh wow! Okay, and was like weird, <laughs> uh, and then but just all the interactions between people, um, and it was even did everyone just forget how to act like a person? Uh, I think a lot of people were um, <laughs> uh, <sighs> acted very weirdly. Uh, oh, we got a new plant. Oh, we got a lot Ooh, of plants. Getting loads of plants. Are these, are these kids? <laughs> maybe maybe the kids we sold grew up and came back <laughs> okay. to us. Okay, I like that. Uh, it's like that Diet Coke advert in reverse. Yeah. Where the building guy is like drinking the drink and all the ladies are staring at him. Uh yeah. So, yeah, kinda like that. Um and just remember that being Kind of, kind of cringe. Yeah, that does sound cringe. Um, uh, what do you want to get? You? Is this modded? Yeah, this is the um, uh, multiverse mod for FTL. Neat. Oh man, mantis don't like putting out fires. No, they don't. Yeah, I don't think I can top that story. That's I can just imagine how awful that was. <laughs> uh, Did anyone say anything super fucking cringy to her? I I could almost guarantee they did. But also this girl had uh I think like dated like three of the different regulars that went there. Oh wow. Um was like this sort of serial black widow of the uh <laughs> like that the nerd community. That hobby community. <laughs> right. Um, so it was just like layers of um uh layers of awkwardness. Hey oh they might control the pacifist you dinguses. Oh shoot. Battlebot Battlebot oh Battlebot no uh, right, you come and help have some fire. Yeah, just run around in the flames. Ooh, new drone. Great, fun. Uh, the rock shop. Yeah, I could buy a rock. Um, from somewhere is donated, and they say, somewhere. Tom Ben. Loving watching you guys play through FTL Multiverse each week. You've inspired me to delve back into FTL yet again. Have either of you come across Scoutsifer Studio of Oil and Iron Diesel Punk Mechs? Seems like something you would like. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that either. I want to see. Can we tab out for a sec? I like a Diesel Punk Mech. Uh, Scout Scoutsifer Studio oil and iron. I probably should have typed that. That's just fucking random. Oil and iron. Iron harvest. Scouts for studio. That's the one. Oh, they look cool. They look like the ones from, um, what's that game? Monster Apocalypse? No. Um, Iron Harvest. Iron Harvest, that's the one. They look fucking cool. They're pretty rad. They're still quite like a little bit dainty in parts. Hmm. Oh man. Do you have to join the Patreon to get them or is there, can I just buy them individually? There must be like somewhere that you can buy them. That kind of, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's chunky. Do like a big chonky mech. 
Yeah, they look awesome. Very pretty. Free demo model. Mm. But once again, I don't have a 3D printer. Yeah. So, Me neither. Yeah. <coughs> what am I going to do? Uh, oh, we just want to give them some business. I've only got two guys and no med bay. This is going to be a bit of a massacre. Thanks for the tip. I'll check those out when they get home. Oh, no, they've got three guys. There's a ghost. What? Oh, a spooky ghost. Secret oh, ghost. Wow. <laughs> Z Shrupuff has donated as well. Thank you very much. And they say, hey, Tom Bum. I came proffering fiscal support. Thanks for making Wednesday special, where we all commune together under Kremlo's benevolent gaze. Verily, he did come from space. Kremlo did come from space. Thank you so much for the support. And the true words of Kremlo. Uh, we do not accept surrender. Why isn't the Yuxcast invested in a 3D printer? Um, because of the time and space it requires. Uh, One of us would have to learn how to use it and maintain it and clean it. Also, um, it's something that we did genuinely look into, mm. but um, we don't have a great cleaning area. Yeah. Because so we only have one kitchen in the office, which is like in the uh, one yeah. sink, which is the kitchen sink, which people use for food and mm -hmm. stuff. And we don't want to be mixing chemicals uh, in like the, the public eating yeah. area. So. And you need like a well ventilated workspace for all the like alcohol that you use to clean them up and stuff. Like it's, you need facilities we yeah. just don't have. It's something we have genuinely looked into, but um, we just don't have the space. Doesn't half films have space in their old warehouse. Um, but then you have to keep it warm. And that thing is a f literal freezer. Mm. Uh, and. <coughs> it's uh, a bit further out. Mm, yeah, it's not not near the office. I, I promise you, it's something we've yeah I mean, considered heavily. Lewis, Tom, and I all want loads of three D models, but it's just it's just not an option, unfortunately. Um. Okay. Ooh, they've got a defense bot. <clears throat> Besides, we've all got enough unpainted models at this point. Jesus Christ. Hey! Oh, scramble our own defense bot then, if that's what we're going to do. <laughs> right. Two can play that game. We can still mind control them. Yeah, I'll just wait. Uh, they don't have any heals. Uh, stop that. Only two shields, which is kind of wild. Yeah. Uh, Father at War is uh, Father of War has donated as well. Thank you very much. And they say magnificent Bempera Ben and sneaky schema Tom. That's me. I have been watching Yogs constantly since Survive the First Night. You guys have got me through some hard times. You need to go to sleep at some point. Holy shit. That's too long. That's a long time. To stare at a YouTube. I work for UK Ambulance Service now. So back to the gobbo pile. Kremlo space. Ah. Wow, holy shit. Wow, that's a very cool job. It's very, Thank you very for helping people. Saving lives. It's like the opposite of what we do. Well, not the exact opposite. Yeah, we're not murderers, <laughs> what's the What's the word where, like, we're in the middle? You know? Like, you've got people's lifesavers at one end, murderers at the other, and then there's us very much doing neither of those things. Right. It's not like the antithesis. That's like the opposite, isn't it? What's like there the must neutral? be a good... There must be a word for that. Wasting life. Time wasters. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a safe way to describe us. A bunch uh, of time wasters. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm. Uh, faithful rock crew. Let's blow them up. Uh, yeah. Wait, there's a trader. We oh, should we just mind control them? Yeah, sure. Just give us money. <laughs> Jedi mind trick the shit out of them. Uh, okay. Um... There's literally. I mean, do we want any of those subsystems? Because we can sell one of our augments if there's a good one in there. Uh, um, crew do more damage. Affect drones, though. Uh, oh, jamming their guns. I'd rather just get the extra shields and engines. I suppose save our money for that. Yeah. Uh. I'll take a little repair. Yeah, because we can actually, we're not far off just buying no, the We literally next can. We can afford it. Uh, I'll let you work that out. One, two, three. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, excuse me. You could attack them, but I think I'd rather shop. Uh, oh, we never do the salvage mission. Is oh, someone yeah. to die? No. Hmm. <laughs> uh, right. Don't really need... Another battle drone. Second battle drone is kind of jokes. But then we would need three more slots in drone control. Oh, this one's only two. It's oh, the, okay. Um, sell the guard. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of on board with twin linked boarding drones. Because we come in peace. Yeah. They could deliver our message of peace mm -hmm. by hand delivering it. La one laser pistol blast at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that'll be funny. Uh, do we want anything else here? I don't think, think so. Super care. Uh, just for us. Um, Banana Super King has donated $50. Holy shit. Very generous. Thank you very much, Banana Super King. Thank you very much. They say, Master Ben and Blaster Tom. That's us. That is that is literally us. I escaped the clutches of the Goblin Pile to ask if you were excited about Total War Pharaoh. I personally enjoyed the old historical games, but I'm also worried about having been spoiled by the Warhammer games' plethora of units. Yeah, we've talked about this before. Um... We are both now kind of super indifferent to the historical ones, but sp definitely like historical periods that there's actually very little known about and that yeah. have like really even less feels like like the Bronze Age is like just literally dudes with spears. You don't even have cavalry, you don't have like elephants, like it's just chariots and peasants with spears. I'm yeah. sure there'll be 15 different kinds of peasants with spears. Just spear Wars doesn't super draw me in. No, it's not. And it's a period of history I don't know a lot about because there isn't much to know about it. You know, there's no big, famous, cool battles. Mm. Yeah, you have the mysterious sea peoples, but but then if they do anything with that, it's just, it may as well be fantasy, right? Because no one actually knows who, the who they were people. or what they did. <laughs> you just wave assaulting their defense drone. Oh, that's not bad in there, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, you know, enjoy it if you like. Don't let us put you off. It's absolutely fine, but... No. We know best. I do find it harder to enjoy the historical games now that I've played so much Warhammer. Yeah, and, they're and, just so much more interest. Like, and if I am going to play the historical games, I want to play something like Rome, where every faction has like quite different units. Is a lot different. Or um, Shogun, where because it's like samurai are so different to like regular warfare that it kind of and they've got the guns as well. Mm. It's almost like fantasy in a way. Yeah, exactly like that sort of asymmetry. Yeah. Uh, okay, Battlebot did fucking amazing in there, just blasting everyone. I think Battlebot dies here. So, yeah, sadly not. 
not excited. Wish I, wish I was. Yeah. But I don't know. I just need I need a bit more fun stuff. It would have been cool if the um, if Troy had had like Greek Greek myth stuff in it. Because I feel like they could make the game and then they could literally have a toggle, and it's like it can be the it would be more work, obviously. But you know, you can play full historical mode or throw in some Minotaurs and Cyclopses and Hydras. Because why not? Yeah, I really just I just want them to make like Age of Mythology. Is that not what Troy was? No, it wasn't. It was real straight Spear Wars. Ooh, black market. They did do that. They didn't. They added a dude who was called a Minotaur, but he was just a dude with a horned helmet on. Like they went real light on the on the um, on the mythology stuff. Uh, it's over to you. Take the wheel. Mm. Um, he was a big dude. Great, great. DLC added full monsters like the Hydra. Did they? Was it literally just, here's one monster, stop whining? Or did they actually make a proper game out of the historical stuff? Out of the mytho mythological stuff? Um, I think we can probably just kill, right? Yeah. Jam that signal. Nice. No ABS for you, sir. Oh, we have to upgrade the... Um, yeah, the cloak. The cloakatron. Yeah, I think just getting another point, point into it. Wow, their weapons are pretty charged up. Do they have a mantis? Yes, they do. On the doors as well, perfect. Nice. Where's the second guy gone? Oh, there he is. He's just a bit slower. Oh, bless him. Oh, he's oh board wow, double boarding teams. Um, what's the quickest route for the air? Uh, you could have stunned them. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the stun. Yep, that would have been good. Good call. God, you need to deal with those guns fast. Jeez. Oh, they knocked out one of our guns. Shit. I was literally just about to fire it. You can still plink into their gun. Well, it's like only four, well. it's five shots. Oh, yeah, because it's going to take so long to charge up. I'm try and get one shot through, I guess. I'm always surprised when that actually works. Uh, yeah, because they don't have anyone. Oh, you can stealth as well. God, these guys are actually kind of... Sound I guess they are the guard. Their guns are pretty good, eh? Uh, they TP'd home. Did. Okay, the gun's back online. Uh, one of the shield bots is down. One of the boarding bots is down. You can redeploy it. Um, Wait, no, you just turn it on. They're, they're still alive. They're just... What? Oh, they just got depowered. Oh, like, did you... Is it because you moved the Zoltan? Yeah, that's probably what happened. Oh, look at them all nerding out in the med bay. Um, I kind of want to hit that, but we should yeah. that, shouldn't we? Or is it just going to board us again? Okay, one more laser. Right. Let's knock out their guns. They've got too many guns. Okay, that's good. You deal with the crew later. They do have a weird um, special gun at the front. Oh, yeah. An artillery. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Pulse. Yeah. Pulse, pulse, baby. Uh, I was not paying enough attention to onboard the ship. Uh, you can mind control someone. You can mind control someone in that room. The yeah. Crystal boy. Oh, they resisted it. Oh, it. Fuck me. It tried to. Wait, no, the no. Slug. I think it, they're still stunned. I think it probably did get the rock boy. Oh shit. Oh, that's our guy dead. Gunman down. Why would it only try and get the guy who was immune and not the guy next to him who's not immune? That is frustrating. Oh, no. <laughs> He's part of the crew now. Uh, yeah. Just airlock him. 
Both battle bots are dead. Um, okay. Okay, their shields are on fire. That's a pretty good start. Uh, you can pulse in that room and then run. Yeah. Uh, you could just put those three shots into their um, med bay just to stop them healing up. Yeah. Nice. Oh, <laughs> he's nearly on board. <sighs> oh, man, the pulse and then the... the Pulse and Suffocate is a, yeah, a nice combo. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Oh, we repaired. So you turned off uh, oh, the first battle. Oh, turns, man. That's such an annoying mechanic. Yeah. Uh, Do we have anyone who's any good on guns? So... We lost our main gun guy. Oh no, it was Darren F and he left. Oh, Darren off left because we took him off of guns. Yeah, and then now we have no gun man. I think just give him the business. When... Yeah, I guess I was, try I was trying, to, trying to cripple them, but fuck okay, it, we'll just wait for the last one. Well, I guess you could, like if you put all the shots into the... No, they only got four hull left. Uh, three just take them out. Yeah, they will, they die. Right. Uh, everyone go back to where you should be. And then we'll have to pick someone to be in charge of guns. I guess brown cloth is the gunner now. Battery. It wasn't that we didn't have the power. It's when someone goes into a room, a Zoltan goes into a room, it counts as them providing power. Then when they leave, you now have one less power and it will turn off the system. And it doesn't automatically... It, even give... if you've got backup power, like yeah. power left available, it doesn't put that back in instead really annoying. Uh, upgrade the cloak. Extra cloak is probably engine. good. A couple of power. Uh, Sebi! Then it's five bucks. Hey, Sebi. Thank you. Say ground control to Ben and Tom. <laughs> ground control to Tom and Ben. Drink your berry milk. Come on, came from space. Thank you, Sebi. Thank you, Sebi. Very kind. Uh, uh, have a drink. Groove Wonder donates five bucks. Need Groove okay. Wonder. They say tube and beep. Greetings. Uh, I come to you with a request. Greetings. Kremlo came in space. Yes, but what they didn't tell you is that I am space. What? That bastard Kremlo owes me child support. Oh no. Uh, I need your help tracking down. Please help. I'm not snitching on Kremlo. You know, Kremlo's everywhere. Kremlo's inside all of us. So I guess we all owe you child support now. Mm -hmm. And does Kremlo owe you anything? Because he's given you so much already. He's given you the gift of life. Just Kremlo always gives. Uh. Uh. Alright, they've got a Defense drone. Uh, they've hardly got any guns. Let's just deploy our own defense drone and rip them apart. Yeah. Yeah, just blast them. And. Yeah, it's only two shields. Yeah. Like, just give them the business one in the shields, one in the guns. I'm never going to bother with their guns. I personally would. Uh, the defense drone's got it, and the Zoltan shield. Just annihilate their shields completely. Uh, the fire is great on these things. Yeah, I'm surprised they make so much fire. Uh, they're trying to jump. Oh, that's a big payoff. That's a pretty good payout. I'll take that. Nice! The rogue laser blew up their drone. <laughs> Love that. That's what you get. Uh, I don't really want to go to a store. Casino! <gasps> I didn't see casino. I think you want to save all your money and go to the casino. Yeah, let's save up loads of money for the casino. Okay, this is a bit more of a business ship. 
Uh, remember, you've got a good cloak. They've got a cloning bay. I can use boredom. Yeah. Shields is pretty good. Two is pretty Maybe good. Maybe he can go break the yeah. cloning bay while no one's watching. And then... Um, Maybe mic control whoever goes to the clone bay. Yes. They can blow it up together. Yeah, I'll just kill whoever turns up. Uh, nice. Uh, uh, yeah. Alright, those shields are fucked. Ah, oh, shield boy finally dinged shields. Is it worth putting those three shots just into their clone bay to stop anyone coming back? They only have one shield at the moment, but... Yeah. There you go. Okay, clone, clone bay disabled. Um, their drones are a bit vicious, aren't they? Yeah, those drones are actually pretty fucking savage. Uh, maybe it's worth just plinking yeah, that. Take the edge off with one of them down. Um... Uh, wait, they only have one crew left. You can get them killed in the... Well, now the robot will kill them. Um, okay, Battlebot 1 is down. Battlebot 2 is victorious. You shot Battlebot 1. <laughs> <laughs> you, I saw you murder him. <laughs> he wasn't killing the guns quickly enough. I saw oh. you kill our sweet boy. Our oh. peaceful baby. you got to jump. Where's the casino? Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, we're not going to the shops because... That means we'll have less money to gamble with. We might want to go to the shops to get a repair and put out fires and stuff. Side with the Zoltan. Yeah. Oh, God, look at this. It's all Mantis. That's okay. You can, like, stealth. Um, yeah, it's okay. We're going to go defense drone today. Although these are prime boarding targets. I love the one-man teleport bay they've got. Oh, that's cute. Because uh, if we go in, we might control a mantis. We can murder their crew so fucking fast. Well, that's true. But we can't mind control them or board them until the Zoltan shield's down. Uh, I reckon you can take the shields down. Well, we've got the, the business to do it. Uh... Yeah, we'll wait till they fired their volley before we turn the defense drone off. You just put the guns into their, like, just shot at their guns in the second volley. Oh, there you go. Drone's down anyway. Um, double battle bot deployed. Oh, God. Poor old rock man. He's been trying to stamp this fire out for so long. Nice. Nice. And pow. Oh my god, Team Battlebot. Yeah, they're pretty good. Halt, criminal! Dun 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 Whoa, big payout. Amazing. Uh, okay, I think you do need to go to the shop and repair. Like, I'm getting a little twitchy. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, um, I was hoping we'd hit one of those quiet zones where we could meditate, get a free repair, but... Um, see what they're selling. Do something aboard the ship. Have a little repair. And then... Nice. Uh, I think you've got some shit to sell as well, don't you? Yeah. Got some missiles. Um, can't fit weapons on anyway. I think we... Do oh, we yeah, save all the money to go to the casino. Unless someone's got Ooh, great skills. Ooh, if we buy this guy... Don't we have a... Oh, we can switch the pilot out? Switch the Zoltan out. Sure. Okay, I'll, I'll agree with that. It's only 35 bucks. Yeah. Pretty cheap. Um, so... Cut some old fuck and just... Can just, like, hang out in the... Go and be camera camera person? Are they, then they're still wasting their battery. Oh, shit, you're right. Drones? Uh, Psychic area? <laughs> yeah, we'll put them in drones. Um, yeah, that seems good. Do you know, rename. Um, yes. It can be Banana Super King. 
the new hit pilot. Hello, Ben and Tom. Hello, Burger Hicks. Is there a reason why we're not fixing the holes? You mean the suffocation chambers? Yes, we're hoping that's where they'll teleport to <laughs> and die. <laughs> uh, we call them um, the defense redoubts. Mm, the peace chambers. Peace chambers. They're so peaceful in there. Mm, yes, you go in there and then very peaceful. <laughs> um, I think we'll, we'll get the piloting upgraded. Do you want to just go for the just next level of shields? Yeah, we'll save up for that. Oh, no, wait, we don't want to do any of that. We want to go to the casino. Oh, I forgot about the casino. Okay, we'll, we'll take a route, long route. We want to gamble. I totally forgot. Hail. Uh, we are also Federation. Uh, why are you here? Um, we ran low on supplies. Jacques Hughes. You're being sus. Uh... Um... Charging their weapons. Kill them. They don't have them. Oh, they do have a med bay. Uh, the Federation won't like this. Yeah. Well, well they shouldn't have pulled guns on us when we asked what they were doing. Rude. That's a lot of guns. Yeah, they got a med bay too. Well, just defense drone, cloak. Uh, yeah, sure. And then give them maximum business. Yeah. I think putting like five in the. Uh, my, wait, oh man, I'd always mind control the pilot. Because it will drop their yeah. evasion down so much. All right. Well, if I just go fight the pilot, that'll help, right? And then. Oh. Yeah, half in the guns. Nah, all in the guns. Uh, deploying rubbish bot. No. no, that's not a good enough deal. Great. Oh, yeah, you can probably kill them all now. Maybe send in good bot. Good bot is go. Oh, careful. Oh, so many fires. Oh, God. Actually, if the shields break, yeah. the whole ship explodes now. Right, quickly, battle bot. <laughs> Operation kill. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> poor battle bots. Oh, poor boys. Why do you hate our boys? <laughs> Plenty more boys where they came from. Oh, poor boys. We take the distress signal or yeah. go straight to the casino? <laughs> I think go round, take the long route, as long a route as possible to get as much money. Because we're betting it all. Investigate with drones. Oh, we found a gunman. Ooh, we, we okay. Get rid is. of um, Brown Cloth, who's like not as Wait, good at guns. Is someone, but do we have just someone who's got even less skills? Because at least. Brown cloth doesn't do other bears. things. True. Uh, two. Why have we got two engine boys? I think get rid of Schultz. Schultz is not as good as brown cloth. Also, I don't think we ever renamed Schultz, so it feels less bad to kill them. That's true. And you can rename Jose. Jose can be Sebi. Yay. Sebi. Right, uh, Sebi, you, what were they good at? Guns, right, which means brown cloth is on cameras. Uh, Captain Shoots a Lot. Uh, the next three bucks, thank you, Captain Shoots a Lot. Thank you. They say, Dear Tom, Jermaine, and Benis, mm. I require advice on a matter that keeps me awake at night. Oh. I want to make a 40K inspired, a 40K army inspired mm. by Ottoman Janissaries. Oh. AKA fancy robes, funny hats. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can't decide whether to make it guard or space marines. Mm. Any ideas? Uh, I think you should make it GC Cult. <laughs> wow, real out of left field there. Yeah. Uh, GC Cults are more fun. They are harder to convert and more expensive. No. No? Because I bet you could just buy some historical Yanissary miniatures and then you buy that um brood brother conversion sprue okay that just gives you, you heads yeah and then you just use Janissaries but then you need, still need guns I suppose no they've got muskets it's basically an auto gun basically, basically just as good I mean the stats would be the same uh cool. 
Oh, God, you could put the business in that room and hit everyone. Well, what about our battle bots, Tom? Ben, don't play that <laughs> fucking card now. <laughs> Look, we've both been <laughs> claiming to be peaceful dudes for a while, <laughs> and we are not fooling each other. <laughs> no. oh. Nice. Yeah. Why, why does nice. every ship we make turn into a fucking boarding vessel of one kind or another? <laughs> Just every time. It's like playing Skyrim and, ending, and being like, I'm going to be a two-handed barbarian. Yeah, very quickly. 20 Stealth minutes later. Archer. Stealth Archer. Yeah. Oh. Uh, um. Putting the fist in pacifist. <laughs> I good. like that. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> Okay, these guys got shields, man. Shields for days. Let's control. Um, I think the guy's about to board us. I bet you should. You could just Google, like, Yanisari, like, 40k conversion. Someone will have already done something. Yeah. Like that. And there'll be a bunch of historical miniatures you can buy. Uh... And there'll be. Way cheaper than um, 40k miniatures as well. Warlord Games makes a load of them. Uh, oh God, why is this computer? F yeah, oh, there's something fucked about that PC. Is it still like the controller plugged in or something? God, yeah, I so actually haven't told TJ about that yet. Fucking that's annoying. why that's not fixed. Uh, Forget about it. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't work as well for Space Marines. I, don't, I just don't see where... No. I that, think you'd have to tell everyone. Yeah. And if you have to tell someone about your cool thing, then it's not really working, is it? Um, so I think God, but... These did cults. More hilarious. <laughs> I think... Yeah, just buying... Just converting all your neophytes out of those guys and just getting that head sprue. Trying to escape. Um, we're on the battle bots into the med bay. Oh, I'm trying to stop them from fixing the shields, but... But, but you don't want to shoot them anymore, right? Because you can kill them all. True. You've got a good mind control as well. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Burn, worm, burn. No, Seren. No. Shouldn't have started a fight you couldn't finish. Oh, oh no! Battle Bot! <laughs> Kidnapped Battle Bot! <laughs> he's gonna go and have his own adventures now. What he's the gonna hell? exterminate every crew member and then he's got his own ship. Okay, I love that. Freedom for Battle Bot. Okay, Battle Bot lives on. <laughs> wow. Oh, there shit. is no way they live. In the next section, like they go somewhere and they'll be like pirates, like, mm, you want to buy a slave? They're like, no, we don't want to buy a slave. <laughs> so they get into a fight while they've got a border and they're on fire. Like those guys, those guys they are, are toast. Wow. I can't wait to find out what adventures he has. Uh, uh, search for the casino. Yeah. Uh, blaring neon signs. Gamble first, then go looking. Okay, have a gamble. Uh, hmm. Okay. Oh, we win! Okay. And then we go looking for Taco. Two burly rockman bouncers. Um, you got to do this to me. The I'm the Dread Pirate Tuco. Uh, follow them, yeah, sure. Yeah, follow the Dread Pirate Tuco. Uh, uh, ship powers up, uh, weapons uh, online. He's firing at the casino. I Aid. I mean, Duco. He's a named character. He's a dread pirate. Yeah, I want to be on his side. He's definitely in there in peace. Uh, we check the enforcers. Um, okay. Uh, they're going to shoot down our borders this time, so I guess we kill. Uh, we can't stealth. Oh, well, oh, you deployed. Right, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, well, does oh, he make it through? Probably not. No. He's dead. <laughs> Our boy. Our <laughs> beautiful boy. Okay, all business into shields. Okay. 
Okay. And business. Okay, shields offline. And we can just yeah, we start plinky plinking. That defense bot is fucking doing such work. Yeah, defense bot is awesome. Nice. Uh, uh, okay. We get free drinks if we cause no further damage. Amazing. Ooh, Tuco's, Tuco's cruiser. cruiser. Amazing. I tell you what, this hunk of junk that I'm disgraced to call my personal cruiser has seen better days. How about I hitch a ride on that pretty ship of yours? I'd love that. Welcome, Tuco. The Dread Pirate. He's fucking amazing. He's got 170 HP, half stun duration, fire immunity. Does more combat damage but moves slower the more enemy crew that are in the room. He's like a psychopath. Um... Love it. All allied outcasts on the ship get 20% combat speed and repair boost. Okay. Amazing. Well, who do we have to get rid of then? Is there anyone who's not yellow at something? Mm. Oh, sounds like we just upgraded our rock man. Do we, we never renamed them either. <laughs> Why Xing? Didn't we? Did we? I don't know. Kick him out. They're gone. We've got We're a better rock man. <laughs> Oh, you've got to dismiss. Wow. Welcome, Tuco. What a boy. Uh, he's not even slow like a rockman. He's amazing. Okay, I guess we get that last shield up. Uh, explore. Oh, hello. Do we get... No, let's fuck that pirate up. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we cloak and we can board. We've got a drone bay. I don't know if I can be. I mean, a clone bay. I don't know if I can be bothered to board. See ya. See ya. And business time. Good amount of business. Wow, that drone. I love you, defense drone. You're better than BattleBot. <laughs> You're a lot better than BattleBot. Uh, no, we don't need the fuel. I reject. Shame on you. Give us better bribes. <laughs> right, you're not going anywhere, sirs. Uh, just fire. They will die. Yeah, good. Oh, not much scrap. Yeah. Oh, got repair though. Nice. That's good. And we're out of here. Hooray! For a militia encampment. Uh, militia encampment. Militia hangers. I have the guard. Threaten the guard. I don't know if we need to do that. Quest assistance. Thank you. Uh, 400 bucks. Do we just buy some things? Uh, let's get the fourth shield up, I reckon. And probably some engine. Yeah, the next two bits of engine are pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to buy that for now. 100 bucks in the can is pretty good. And we'll see if we need engines. Oh, God, we can't just do it, can't we? Fuck it. Nice. I don't think we need anything from a shop and like 45% no. dodge. It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, the rebellion. Kill them all. Oh, they were a bit low on power for too many shenanigans. Just, yeah. <coughs> Nice. Mind control? Yeah, you yeah, know, just waiting for. Here we go. 
God, so many lasers. Okay, well, this is going to be a massacre. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just absolutely slaughtered their crew. Yep, go in the, go in the fucking airless chamber. And... Jeez. Oh wait, that was airless already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone just wait there. <laughs> the two robots are just looking at him, waiting for him to like... <gasps> Where am to, I? <laughs> blam him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Jeez. He's making a run for it. Uh, nice. Good job, BattleBots. Our super soldier sat in that room doing nothing because he's going to be our anti-boarding man. We want him to be just ready to go. Oh, one of our guys is on half health. We should probably heal him up in a minute. Yeah, I'll worry about him in a minute. Uh, they've got a clone bay. Oh. <laughs> God, this ship is fucking great. We've, yeah, we've made a real powerhouse here. Uh, let's all come together. Leave some brain juice in. They have a cloner. Didn't you have a combust? Yeah, they can explode. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. One of the battle bots is dead. Hey! Oh, oh he's in the chamber. It, it's in the peace chamber. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he chose to go there. We're not to peace. blame. It was very um, stressful on his ship. Mm -hmm. You know, he needed a little relaxing time out. Should we send Tuco over to him? Go say hello as a welcoming party? Or should we just stun him and walk away? <laughs> then he wants peace. <laughs> he can have all the peace he likes. Uh, okay. Our friend dead. Uh, I can just give them that just to stop some of their shenanigans. Oh, we do need to fix the O2. Oh. Oh, perfect. He, he chose death by battle bot mm. rather than death by asphyxiation. Uh, an excellent choice. Oh, no, battle bot went offline. Oh, because my guys moved. Okay, battle bot was just giving him a couple of chances to get some shots in. <laughs> yeah, he's an honorable warrior. Mm, all honorable. Battle bot. He chose the path of peace. Mm -hmm. As do we all. As do all the truly enlightened. Hmm. Uh, Fragglewump has donated. Well, thank you, Fragglewump. Thank you, Fragglewump. And they say, uh, hello, Tom Carr and Bento. Just curious, Tom, if you've heard about the guy who made Witch Hunt. We have a new game. Might be time to get Chauncey back. Uh, is that Skinwalker Hunt? They made oh. that one. Um, uh, right. Where does he want to be? God, I just pressed the go back to position. Oh, but we haven't saved positions for ages. Right. Cats of Ulthar. We don't need you there. We had them standing in the drone bay. Okay. Just to be a, a powerman. Brown cloth. He was hang. on the cameras. Hang. Tuco, you're fine there. So you're fine. Yeah. Sebi. Save. Okay. That all looks pretty good. Yeah. Does that game any good? Um, I haven't played it. Hmm. Fair enough. Uh, but I worry that it looks like it's a bit. It looks a bit like straighter, like a bit more serious than. Hmm. Um, the previous one. Fair enough. 
Uh, hey. Uh -huh. Our cloak is better than their cloak. Nice. Ooh, they've got a big laser. Ooh. Okay, fighting in the shields is pretty nice. Can we make their plant explode? Oh, nice. We've got their shields on fire. Uh, no. Plant doesn't explode. Are they still going to try and fucking board us, you psychopath? Oh, no, they're, uh, they're healing. That's alright. I can blast it in a minute. Hey, the shields are knackered. Very Not good. Looking very healthy at all. No. Oh. You only slow the inevitable. <gasps> and Battlebot dead. How's that little worm jerk healing? <gasps> Battlebot lives. Hooray! Mm. Uh, we don't need a store. <clears throat> Proof sensors. Hey. It works. Hate that. That's a little surprise waiting for them in space. We might actually buy some drones. Oh god, yeah, we're actually burning through them. Okay, going to guns. Love it. And engines is fine. Good. Yeah, solid. Did we just level up there? No. Something happened. That seemed like a weird level up. Hmm. Wow, yeah. it feels weird doing this heavy boarding build, but never risking any of our crew. Yeah, I actually kind of love it. Like the disposable drones plus the mind control. It's really strong. Works. So well. Uh, shame the rebels for their violent ways. <laughs> yeah, shame. Shame. Ding. King. Oh. King. I don't want king. Just instantly just airlock them. <laughs> Fuck you. King sucks. Have you got any, any money? Do you have money, please? We like money. <laughs> Not your just cast off, like, <laughs> kind of garbage pilot. Uh, free refueling, don't really need that. Alternative payment. No, I don't want to give them drones. No. We don't really need the fuel. Not really. Just shop. Or we could just take five fuel. You know, as a charitable donation to our cause mm, Because we're peace. peace. Mm -hmm. uh, salvage mission. Oh, nice. Neat. Uh, I don't need you. Uh, I think a load of drones. It's basically, they didn't have anything else that we could really use. No. We've got. What else can we do? We can buy some like internal upgrades. I don't know if we need it. We, let, should we get the thing that charges guns a bit quicker? Oh, yeah. It's expensive, but there's nothing else we're spending money on now. So we made, whoa, holy shit. It's Jesus. too much text. Fucking hell. Stop. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, 
Oof. Pretty good. Bolene. What do they what do they do? Provides two power. Um is extra damage in combat. Do we have a crappy Zoltan? We don't need We don't need the pilot one, do we? Because we've got Cats of Ulthar has been replaced by Yeah. Fair. Bolene. Who is Bolene? Bolene, Bolene is actually Fraggle Womp. Uh, pal. And Fraggle Womp was in here. Nice. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three. Yeah. Parts? Yeah. We've got spare power now. Let's get the engines. Ooh, hello there. Oh, these are like perfect areas. Yeah, I love it. Lost. Perfect. Business to the clone bay? Yeah. I just want to lock their guns down a tiny little bit, but... Hey, they came in and bombed me. Hey! Oy. Prepare for peace. Oh, yeah, he's oh. actually good in combat, but so is, uh, yeah, Sentuko, because that guy's doing power we need. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I just want to play the peaceful, oh, the peaceful game of funny doors. There we go, we're fine now. Uh, give them some of this. And some of this. Nice. <laughs> oh, can we save oh, wow. second battle bot? Oh, glory to battle bots. Come on. Yeah. Very good. Both of our sons lived. Oh, there's a shot. Oh. Uh, oh. upgrade. Yeah, if we do... Weapons. This one, performance. Ten percent faster. Yeah, we can do it a few times. Okay, well they're twenty percent faster now. Yeah. I'll take that. <coughs> um drone control? Why would you upgrade that? Drone booster. Does that make battle bot battle harder? 50% com combat damage. Yes. <coughs> wow, we should have done that earlier. Could have done that a long time ago. Mm. Been pretty good. Uh, now mind. they have a gun in each hand. Yeah. Wow. So much stronger. Uh, let's just buy a few more drones just in case. Oh, shoot. Did we done goof? I done goof. Count bad. Uh, Ooh, five shields. Holy moly. Mm. Shields mean nothing to battle bots. Battle bot cares little for your shields. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I'll take both of those. Perfect. Clone Bay offline. Yeah. And they will never fix it now there's a battle bot set on it. It's perfect. Are we 
going to get missiled. Well, I've still got the Vizotan shield up. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Because like we're dodging 45% of their shots. <laughs> this ship is so strong. It is insane. And you can just stay just in. Burn to death. Oh, no. Oh, he's come to his senses. And what's death by battle <laughs> instead? That is preferable to death by burning. Yeah, you know what? I think I'd rather that. <sighs> okay, I think maybe it's better just to... Just run away. You don't even get any scrap for killing them, do you? No, you get one fuel. Yeah. Like, we might just be able to blast them down. Like, the... Yeah. Speed is pretty legit. We could just hit weapons, right? Uh... Yeah, it's half their guns off. Should be able to get away now. Oh, wow, we actually uh, power up engines so fucking fast. Yeah, as I guess well. we stuck three extra upgrades in it. Pow. Nice. All right, I'm going to spend some bucks on um, oh, quality of life. I think we... Have we been t taken to court? Oh, we did a bad thing, didn't we? Because we did a lot of bad things. Oh, no. They hate peace, Tom. They hate peace. Federation of... They have chosen death. <laughs> Why would they do this? Uh-oh. Drones away! Okay. Whee! Uh, cool. Business is ready. Get that clone bay out. Job number one. And... Dude, you could just stick some business on their guns. Uh, yeah, when they decloak. Yeah, we're gonna lose the battle bots. Uh, it's all right. yeah, you've got you've got plenty. We keep that clone bay offline. You can stealth okay. again. Uh, well, maybe fire and then stealth. Yeah. Uh, or just you, if you put everything just into the pilot, you might kill them. Oh. All right, we got this. Battle uh, bot is stronger than you. Pretty good. Time to decompress a little. Mm, go and be on, be at peace. Mm. Very nice. Wow, it's taking longer than I thought. <laughs> they must have had like an upgrade. Huzzah! Nice. Contact Federation Command. Uh, what do I even want? Fuel on a map? Uh, Anything else is useful? Um. I was going to say, at this stage, maybe not even worth doing yeah, the worth assault the risk. mission. You're right. Because the odd, like, the chance that we lose someone when mm. all of our things are kind of pretty good. That's a good point. Uh... Jeez. All right, hang on. I'm on the wrong screen. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Um... After. I don't know. I just we've got money, right? So what does performance upgrade do. Oh, just FTL charge. I need eh. Shields. Uh, performance upgrade. Fifty percent to ignore ions. It's not bad. Recharge seventeen percent faster. Or immune to stuns while in the shield. Room? What about engines? Is there anything that pops our dodge up at all? No, I just checked oh, that. Shit. 
Cloaking? Oh, level three is pretty cheap. I don't think it's worth it. Because it takes longer to recharge. Mm. Oh, let's just get the quality of life med box. Oh, first. sure, yeah, that's great. Just for easiness. Uh, no, we checked mind control, didn't we? Uh, the battery. battery, what does it do? Performance emergency generator. Uh, combat augments don't cost power, do they? I don't know. Doors. Emancipation grills. Uh, they can't phase through your shit. We're not going to be dealing with that anyway. No. Uh, what else can we do? I think upgrading our doors again, just in case. Yeah, just in case. Why not? Like, it could be worth, mm. like, just before we get to the fight itself, sticking an extra point into guns just to give us a buffer of, oh, like, we take a, a hit. damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go talk to the judges. What are they up to? Wow, that ship looks real fancy. We will judge your merit. Oh, judge of warfare. You must prove yourself. What? Bring me something worthy of tribute. We've got an ATM. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? What? What's your problem? Should we sell the FTL? Oh, the, the ATM. Because now we're at the end. Sure. <laughs> like. Uh, oh, the, the colonel guy. guy. Uh. Hacking? Uh, I don't think you can. You could buy the clone oh. bay. <laughs> I don't think we need. I'd rather have healing at this point, I think. Because we've got the uh, dispersed healing. Oh, does it replace our healer? Can you have both? No, you can't have both. Right, it okay. replaces yeah, the med bay. Uh, you know, if we picked diplomacy, it would have been better. Oh, you have to show them a fancy weapon to win the warfare thing. Oh, oh. I didn't know how that worked. Um, okay. Have they not seen our charge laser Mark III, which has carried us this entire <laughs> fucking game? It's pretty fucking good. Uh, what's upgrading the lab do? Should we get a level three med bay? Oh, I don't even know. Do we need? I feel like the. Shield buff, one of those seems good. Yeah. Like the ion one, honestly not terrible. And then we could just get the performance upgrade as well. Yeah. Why not? Just do that, like if you can do that multiple times, or is it only once? Uh, well, I was gonna do the weapons thing, like you said, so we need another 20 bucks. So if we do one more fight, we get that. Sure. Um, wow. I will sell ammunition. Oh, ammo. Oh, oh yeah, so Perfect. Do you want to buy any more? Oh. Amber. Mm -hmm. Powerful prototype weapon. Can we buy this and go back to the judges? <laughs> go, look, we found a cool Hey, thing. we've got this weapon. <laughs> it fires a missile for four power that does six system damage. It's pretty good. And breach Breach shots, 100%. I mean, it's a good weapon if we... But I don't want to mess with our build. No, I think we're absolutely set. The Wonder Drone Hello. TM. <laughs> a strange and poorly made smuggling drone that can be changed to a random weapon at empty beacons. What? Uh, okay, so who's the first giant mega boy? Trinity Drone. Toggle between defense modes, shooting down missiles, drones, or projectiles. Wow, I've already got a good defense drone. Don't think we need that. Do we want to run two defense drones? Oh, because I don't think we're going to be boarding them. No, you're right. Yeah, maybe we do. We can't afford it. Like, we could sell off board oh, bots. Special loot drone. Improvements over the base version. You can buy this one. But the other one is bigger. But we can't afford it. But we can sell our boarding boys. Oh, I see, yeah. We can sell, like, little boarding boy. Just because... 
I don't think we're going to bother with boarding. Yeah. And suddenly running two defense drones, and we just... And we tell this one to only shoot missiles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wow, we're going to be so strong. And just when we fight the boss, just... So we'll turn the battle drone to defensive mode. And the Trinity is going to be anti-projectile mode. Um, no, anti-missiles. There we go. Okay, wow, we are very tanky right now. Oh, shit, but they both cost three. We need an extra um, drone power. Shit. Uh, uh, we can quickly go here for them, hopefully get enough to do that. Oh, there's nothing here. Uh, you can scout, but no, maybe it's not worth it. Shit. Oh, well, we'll get to use it after the first fight, I think. Okay. Um, Small drone, targets, both lasers and missiles. No, it's too late for that. Uh, okay, well, we cloak, deploy drone. We may as well make them... No, we'll save that for you, right? For the... Are they going to do a big boarding? Oh, wait, no, they're not going to shoot us yet. Uh, yeah, I just think just... Everything into shields. So that's just mind control first. Oh yeah, mind control the pilot. And then everything into Bam, bam. Wow, oh, this will be novel. Fighting the flagship when it still has crew left. Can't remember the last time I did that. It's kind of wild. You almost always kill it with boarding. Uh, okay, doing the business again. God, the guns charge so quickly now, don't they? Oh, fuck. Is nine lasers not enough? Are they on board? Oh no, they're mind controlling. Okay. Um, they mind control the peace boy. It's fine. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, ion. I Do don't know if thing. we. We're not getting through those five shields. I've got five. Why are we not getting through? Well, we kind of are, just really slowly. But then they go in and just repair it. You might need to go into the shield room and mind control with the mind control boy to stop them. Repairing it before. Yeah, you're right. That's how we do it. Okay. Okay, a lot of people suffocating. Where's our guy that they mind controlled? Did he beep die? Dead? I didn't hear it go beep beep. Oh no, did he uh did he come into our drone bay? Yeah. Wow, when did that happen? Not at all. Right, well, let's just uh, create some more. Wait, wait, wait. Why, you don't need to open that door because oh, they're already right. in a peace chamber. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I think you just let them. Oh, hang just on. Let me hang just out. create more peace chambers. Yeah. Nice. Um, all right, you just got to wait for mind control, I guess. Yeah. Out. Oh, second peace chamber. That's actually a perfect missile for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've improved our ship. Very good. Right, so we mind control now while they're repairing. Yeah. And then... And then give them the business. Maximum business. That's hey, it's great. on fire. That's perfect. That's what we needed. Okay, I reckon you keep firing now. Like, stop them putting out fires. Also, down. I'd just like pause, maybe run this guy in there. And stun them. Do the stun. Yeah. And then run out. Okay. Because Get okay. in there. And now, Pulse. And then just come and back. Just go. Just to try and suffocate a little bit more. Tuco can go over here. Um, wow, we've just slaughtered their crew. Okay, start like plinking guns. Like, don't worry about firing big volleys. Just start trying to take out some of those weapons that are shooting at us. And now you don't need to fire all at one because they only have three hit points each. I didn't think I had that many charged up. Uh, yeah, just fire on cooldown. I thought he was cloaked for a sec, but that's because our, <laughs> our things went down. Okay. All of their crew are dead. Wow, they just... 
Just shut that door. Nice. Okay. Very peaceful. Very peaceful, wasn't it? Um, I can guess we can just shut. Well, actually, it doesn't matter at all anymore, does it? They've got no crew left. Yeah, so... Um, well, they will board us with drones, but they don't care about air. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we've got enough to upgrade the drone. No, we don't. We need 80 to get the drone. Uh, where are they up. going? Because... They're going away, but... Right, we can go to the store. Yeah. I don't think we, we can... We can sell the it. other boarding drone, the battle drone, upgrade, and we get both of the defenses. Yeah, okay. Just because we're not going to need it. Yeah. Good thinking. Is everyone in the right place? Yeah. I just, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's have a little pre-battle ritual. The peace rituals. <laughs> Pray for peace. Where we like rub the sacred oils on the laser guns. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Might as well turn the mind control off. Yeah, we don't even need that now. Um, and we wait, I suppose. Yeah. He comes to us. Okay. Nice. They only have five shields now. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, those. Does he have a mind control? Wait, you can... No, he doesn't. Oh, he's even... got one boy. Oh. Well, fuck it. Oh, actually, it's kind of funny to... Uh... We got an inside man. Take him to the shields, yeah. I reckon it's lose the energy from the... Like, you're going to want a stealth, but drop a... Yeah, like that. Perfect. And then... Amazing. Perfect. He can stay there, enjoy <laughs> the fire. Well, I kind of want him to live so that the AI takes over. So it doesn't it take doesn't over. It doesn't super matter. Uh, right, start just shooting their actual guns. Put one into each of yeah. the things. Wow, we got this shit on lockdown, man. Nice. Wow, we're just blasting their drones. Yeah, our, our anti-drone. Like that bit, that big drone wave just did nothing. Wow. Get fucking wrecked, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel bad for them, you know? Like, this is a slaughter. I don't think I've ever killed the flagship this quickly so before. So decisively. Yeah. Oof. Wow. Charge laser mark three. It's kind of just chase burst. him. Yeah, chase it. Run him down. He's afraid. They're afraid. Oh, we don't need big volleys again, so we can just um. As soon as that cloaks down, I'll just auto fire the lasers again until the yeah. Zoltan's done. Uh, Oh, did that boy die? Oh. Boo. I like there being one little guy yeah, who was not as good as an AI. Them. Okay, now we... Now we wait. Ooh, it's fine. I... I, I guess... Or stealth for the next oh, we actually lost a drone there. Thing. I'm going to uh, save the stealth for the next. Yeah, uh, yeah. Big pulse. Okay. May as well turn off the mind control. Um. Now. Okay. Maximum business. Okay, stealth. Nice. 
Do you want to run, um... Yeah. God, how long does their fucking stealth last, man? Uh, I think put a shot into, like, just each of those top guns. I'm more annoyed the about their stealth, to be honest. Yeah, the stealth maybe, but we just need to... I don't know if you want to... I don't think it's worth shooting the shields that second. I think we need to be turning off those missiles. Because if I they start hitting our weapons... We're going to be in trouble. I don't fear those missiles. Because now the shields are down, we can... Um, we've got them. And they can't cloak now either. So, like, they can't just back off and heal. We, uh, so do you got want stealth? So we're about to do the big gun. Yeah. Very good. And they're done. Woof. Hooray! Hooray! Job done. We've brought peace to the galaxy, Tom. Peace! <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Ooh. Loads of... That's one of our most decisive runs ever, and we played it on an even higher difficulty this time. Yeah. Yeah, like, I would not have known that was, like, a tougher, tougher mode. Hmm. Uh, who... We unlocked, like, three or four new ships that run as well. They're good. They're good. Can you put the high Charge laser on? mark two. Ooh. Wow, this thing is great. Oh my god. This is and it comes with Tucko as well. Oh, uh, what a stone cold killer. That is just It's got the weapon pre-igniter. <laughs> One of the best upgrades in the game. Holy fuck. <laughs> is this like an easy mode ship? That Holy is shit. an amazing. And it's got two shields. <laughs> what is this fucking ship? That thing's pretty fucking OP. It doesn't have a drone bay, I guess. Eh? Is there anything else important that it's missing that we've forgotten about? We have been enjoying the Zoltan shields recently, but that thing is fucking amazeballs. Yeah. Uh... We saw that's, the, that's the one we were. Oh, yeah, we got the extra Sohis now. So. Oh, it's the all ion ship. All ion. It's got ion, ion drone and three ion guns. With a boarding guy and. Monks. Pacifist monks. <laughs> okay. Uh, powerful beam. Beams. More beam. And like a little ion. No power ion. Okay, right. You just ion them and then beam them. Uh, oh. The Benito. It's got no guns. And no systems installed. <laughs> oh, is it a suicide bomber? It's just a... Okay, you've got... There's a lot of these suicide bomber ships. That one is really pure. It's got a triple teleport bay. <laughs> it's such a stupid ship. I love it. <laughs> Discus Mortis! <laughs> uh, had that already. Where was... Oh. What did we get from killing Fat Tony? Uh, oh, we got Tony's ship. It was like the... What was it called? It's called like the ugly, ugly ship or something like that. We did unlock a ship for Tony, but I didn't see it in the list. There's a way to have a big menu of ships rather than flicking through them one at a time. I've forgotten how to do it. Oh, list. There you go. Uh, oh my god, sixteen pages. Oh, so it shows you how. Each ship unlocks lots of other ships. Right. There it is. This one. No. The order no. cruiser. The pimped out cruiser. Uh. Hmm. Ships. Ah. Pimped out cruiser. Oh, it's a it's just a slot B. Okay. Right. The Lone Shark. A defense laser. It just has the busted ATM. Can summon, can summon a, store. a store. That's cool. That's very cool. It's got covered in worms. Are any of the crew, like, cool? Uh, just a weird worm. And a Lannis. Look, it's got one in everything. Okay. It's pretty low power, but it's got a lot of 
systems. I guess getting the busted ATM from the start adds up to quite a lot by the end. Yeah. Yeah, if you're doing 10 jumps per sector. Yeah, so then you're getting 100, was it? Do you go through eight? 20, 20 bucks times eight? 160 bucks? It's not a huge amount. Which is pretty good. Mm. Like three man teleporter is nice. And then I think the Tuco ship looks fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it looks incredibly OP. And but like getting the weapon pre igniter, like there are so many guns in the game mm. where you're like, oh man, if I could get this and the weapon pre igniter, yeah, anything I could do a, such a bonkers build. You don't want the charge weapons though because it only charges them one level. You really want those heavy guns that have got like a twenty second. Or Spool just up. a super missile yeah. uh, that has like an 18 second charge time that you can yeah. just instantly blast. But like we saw, the charge lasers are like mm. just some of the best guns in the game. Yeah. Like, well, because you can choose. They can be a rapid firing single thing or a big charged up. Yeah. Man, getting this with the Vulcan is amazing. Because the first shot on the Vulcan takes ages. Oh, yeah. But then it gets like, quicker every time. So knocking the first, like, 17 seconds off. Is pretty, pretty rad. Um, I mean... Oh, are they called the good, the bad, the ugly? They have uh, to they be, They must right? be, yeah. Uh... Because Tuco is one of the characters from the good, the bad, the ugly. But he was... Uh, the ugly, right? Mm. Oh, he's got... He's got a little mentis friend who can make everyone better in combat. Nice. He took her himself is really good in combat. Uh, just a regular human and an ingi. Little ragtag pirate crew. Cool. Oh, that was a really good run. I can't believe how many ships there are in this game. Like, yeah. Shit. It's a lot. Yeah, like almost like a hundred ships. <laughs> Uh, pal, well, I think this is a good time for us to be wrapping it up. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed watching watching it. Yeah, um, I had a lot of fun. Oh, when are you going to be back next, Ben? Oh, I'm streaming on my channel tomorrow. Well, I'm going to be here at two um, with Harry doing RimWorld. Nice. And then I'm going to be streaming on my own channel around seven. So Very cool. Check that out. How about you? Just hanging out. I'll be back here next week playing some FTL. Nice. Love it. Uh, thanks so much to everyone who chatted, everyone who um, donated. Uh, mm -hmm. Lots of love to everyone in YouTube land. Yeah, look after yourselves. Um, and we'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bonk. <laughs> I got my back cut.